okay in these seven classes we are going to cover current affairs holistically in theme wise manner focus of these classes would primarily be prelims examination first of all when we talk about current affairs we cannot differentiate that okay this current affair is for prelims or this current affair for mains there is no such separation in current affairs but when we talk about prelims okay little bit orientation is different for example in mains we need to write more about opinions we need to write more about suggestions the takes they become more important in mains examination but in prelims examination because the paper is objective in nature little bit orientation changes okay so primary focus of these classes will be prelims we will be covering the current affairs in theme wise manner okay for example the first theme that we are going to start is environment okay so environment science and technology okay social justice likewise we are going to cover it in the theme wise manner the coverage will be one year plus okay last 12 month to 15 months of current affairs we are going to see here okay first of all upsc has not given any cut off date that okay till this date current affair you have to read okay and in past in fact this has also happened that they have asked the current affairs which were two years back in the news but we have to finalize a cut off date from our side so we are going to cover last one and a half year approximately ka current affairs in these classes okay now one more thing is there that these classes will be high intensity classes we don't have time to waste here and we cannot spend time in those things jahan pe hum log time save kar sakte hain so the class will go like this that i shall be providing you a handout okay in this particular handout there is a margin that has been given on the sides i think they have reduced the margin okay so what you have to do okay we will be covering this entire handout i will be giving you some additional information or i will be giving you some uh, uh, some additional points which might help you to understand a particular topic or main jaise aapko samjha raha hu you want to scribble down some points what you can do you can directly scribble your points here we don't have time now to make notes of the current affairs are you waiting it or not we don't have that time and that is not even required that hum pura current affair ke notes banayenge wo nahi ho sakta hai. is that clear or not so there will be a handout you have a margin whatever you think is important highlight here underline here scribble down in these particular notes only is it clear or not samajh mein aa raha hai class kaise karni hai theek hai alag se copy banane ka bhi time nahi hai kyunki we are running against the time one thing second there uh, let me allay some insecurities or kuch cheeze hongi aapke mind mein for example sir i have covered current affairs from this xyz source or everybody is following that abc source do we need to follow that source or not are you waiting it or not these things might be there in your mind is this current affair better or that current affair that source is better so let me give you a very simple answer see there is no current affair which is best current affair there is no current affair which is uh, understand this particular thing that what is a source everybody every institution what is their primary source their primary sources newspaper pib etc everybody is making the current affairs from there only so my point is that whatever source you follow if it is a decent one okay at the end of the day there will not be much difference you read abc you read xyz at the end of the day when you will cover fine you will not find much of a difference is it clear or not so my point is that if you are following this particular source diligently i will not advise you to do other thing not because okay, that this is the best but because of the fact that you are just repeating the things is it clear or not i will say ke kuch aur fir mat padho isliye nahi bol raha hu kyunki i say that this is the best but the things are same only are you waiting it or not nobody is making the news why nobody is making the news everybody is giving the coverage from the standard sources newspaper pib website etc that are there so duplicacy karne ka koi matlab nahi hai one more thing after two classes or three classes this particular thing will come in your mind that i will directly read from the notes theek hai class mein kyu jao but i'll tell you this particular thing very simply if you were to read at yourself to aap abhi tak pad lete are you waiting it or not i asked this question before the class that how many of you are confident 
फ्यू ऑफ द स्टूडेंट सेट दैट फोर्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस बाकियों को उतना भी नहीं है तो डोंट बी ओवर ऑप्टिमिस्टिक ठीक है प्रैक्टिकलिटी ये है कि दैट मैगजीन बुक्स एक साल से है न्यूज पेपर हर रोज पब्लिश होता है खुद से पढ़ना होता तो अभी तक हम लोग पढ़ लेते ठीक है ये आपको अभी फोर्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट वाली बात नहीं आती ठीक है तो बी लिटिल बिट प्रैक्टिकल फाइन नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फाइन यू विल गेट द कॉपी ऑफ हैंड आउट इन जस्ट फ्यू मिनट्स टिल देन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट थीम विल बी एनवायरमेंट एंड विद इन द एनवायरमेंट द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट इज एनवायरमेंट एंड विद इन द एनवायरमेंट फर्स्ट थीम दैट वी आर सींग इज क्लाइमेट एंड रिलेटेड इशूज नो फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट विल शेल बी कवरिंग हेयर इज IPCC Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Why we are going to cover this? It is because of the fact that recently IPCC has released its sixth assessment report, का synthesis report. Now, when we talk about IPCC Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, it releases its report once in four or five years. चार पांच साल के अंदर में एक report निकालता है. and from 2021 it is releasing the report okay it releases multiple reports four main report it releases or final report jo hota hai that final report is synthesis report this synthesis report was released in 2023 so therefore it is important and because it is released once in five year it becomes very important now when we talk about ipcc ipcc stands for intergovernmental panel on climate change it stands for intergovernmental panel on climate change and it is releasing its sixth report now these particular reports are very important why because these particular reports become the basis for international climate change negotiations that happen now you might already be knowing about paris agreement of 2015 you remember okay so paris agreement of 2015 was negotiated fine the basis was the ipcc report so this particular report uh, serves an important purpose for international climate negotiations and it also informs the policy makers at the national level also now when we talk about ipcc intergovernmental panel on climate change fine this it is a un body these kind of things are asked in the prelims examination it is under a united nation and ipcc ipcc it was created in 1988 by two of the organization that is world meteorological organization and unep united nation environment program are you waiting it or not so two bodies have created it kon kon si unep and world meteorological organization is it clear one very important thing is that ipcc does not conducts its own research is it clear or not it does not conducts its own research basically what happens the scientific bodies okay uh, researchers they send their findings to ipcc ipcc simply compiles them so very important point it does not conduct its own research now when we talk about ipcc when we talk about ipcc so basically the uh, under the ipcc what is the structure of ipcc there is working group 1 working group 2 working group 3 and these three working groups releases its own independent reports and then all these three reports are compiled and a summary is prepared and that summary is called as the synthesis report which was released recently so basically working group 1 it looks the physical science basis physical science basis so climate change is happening carbon emissions are happening so what is the physical science behind climate change the evidences with respect to physical science behind climate change it is seen it is taken by the working group 1 impact adaptation and vulnerability so as the climate change is happening as the temperature is increasing what will be the impact on arctic what will be the impact on uh, arctic what will be the impact on the wetlands what will be the impact on sea level that will be seen by the working group 2 and working group 3 is with respect to the mitigation of climate change how climate change can be mitigated advisories way forward suggestions they are on this particular line a report is prepared so basically four reports are there which are released under ipcc one re one report is on physical science other report is on impact adaptation mitigation third report uh, uh, impact adaptation and vulnerability and third report is on mitigation of climate change and the fourth is the synthesis report all these four reports have been released is it clear or not the highest decision making is ipcc plenary highest decision making under ipcc is ipcc plenary are you waiting it or not 
ठीक है नाउ वेन बी टॉक अबाउट वेन बी टॉक अबाउट द सिक्स आईपीसीसी रिपोर्ट सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग्स दैट हैव बीन गिवन बाय द आईपीसीसी रिपोर्ट बिकॉज द स्टेटमेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कुड बी आज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन तो द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द आईपीसीसी इज दैट इट हैज एम्फेसाइज दैट Climate change is leading to vector-borne diseases, water-borne diseases, circulatory, respiratory, diabetic, and infectious diseases. Now, if a statement comes, then keep it in mind. This is the first time. This is the first time that IPCC report has directly linked the climate change with the circulatory, respiratory, and diabetic diseases. Is it clear or not? ठीक है. Water-borne disease, vector-borne disease such as malaria, dengue, etc. They will. increase because of the climate change because of more humidity that will be there theek hai then the second is that the most important thing that it has talked about is increasing wet bulb temperature increasing wet bulb temperature now this in itself becomes an important this in itself becomes an important topic theek hai abhi wet bulb temperature kya hota hai anybody if you can tell what is wet bulb temperature wet bulb temperature an important concept with respect to geography question can be asked and it has talked about the increasing wet bulb temperature now understand this particular thing basically okay suppose i have a thermometer i have a thermometer i keep this particular thermometer in room and i measure temperature of this particular room okay whatever reading i will get here that is dry bulb temperature that is dry bulb temperature okay i get a reading let's say 40 degree celsius so means this room's temperature is 40 degree celsius this is the dry bulb temperature then there is a wet bulb temperature then there is wet bulb temperature what is wet bulb temperature what i will do i will wrap a cloth i will wrap a cloth around this particular bulb of this particular thermometer and then i will measure temperature then i will measure temperature whatever reading i will get here that particular reading will be called as the wet bulb temperature now a question will come in your mind that why we are measuring this wet bulb temperature let's understand and what is the importance of this wet bulb temperature so we'll understand it in just few minutes first of all you tell me one thing that reading that i will get here and reading that i will get here will the reading be same or will be different will the reading be different or same reading will be different higher reading will be here or here where will be the higher reading a pe higher reading hogi b pe reading kam hogi why reading in b will be less yes understand this thing bahut ek basic concept hai samajhte hain see basically what is happening what is happening cloth is wrapped around this particular thermometer now what is happening what is happening when the cloth is wrapped water will evaporate water will evaporate from this particular cloth wet cloth humne yahan pe tie kiya hai to kya hoga water will evaporate now as water is evaporating for evaporation water needs some energy and that energy it will take in the form of heat it needs some energy and that energy it will take in the form of heat so actually what is happening actually what is happening basically this wet cloth it is stealing heat from this particular thermometer it is stealing heat from this particular thermometer and because it is stealing heat reading here will be less reading reading here will be less samajh mein aa raha hai itna ya nahi aa raha samajh mein aa raha hai now understand abhi isko dimag mein rakho ek aur analogy lete hain then all these particular things will get connected suppose you are you are taking a shower in the washroom a bathroom ke andar mein shower le rahe ho you might have felt this particular thing that once you have taken the shower you come out you suddenly feel cooling you you, you suddenly feel cold hota hai ya nahi hota why you are feeling cold when you are out but you are not feeling that cold when you are inside jab aap andar the तब आपको ठंडी नहीं लग रही थी द मोमेंट यू हैव कम आउट यू आर फीलिंग कोल्ड वाई अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग द मोमेंट यू हैव कम आउट योर बॉडी इज वेट 
from your body what is happening water is evaporating and as water is evaporating from your body it is taking heat from your body as it is taking heat from your body a cooling sensation is left on your body one thing but when you are in the bathroom tab bhi to your body was wet but why you are not feeling cold then it was because understand this thing inside the bathroom also water was trying to evaporate from your body water was trying to evaporate from your body but water was not able to evaporate why because humidity in that bathroom was very much high understand this particular thing that water wants to evaporate water wants to evaporate for evaporation it needs two things number 1 it needs temperature and number 2 it needs space where it can evaporate where it can evaporate if humidity is high if humidity is high in the air there is no space to accommodate the water vapor there is no space to accommodate new water vapors are you getting it or not when you came out of the bathroom humidity was less fine the water that was trying to evaporate could evaporate why now are you understanding it or not so understand one very important concept that evaporation will depend on two things number 1 it depends on temperature number 2 it depends on the humidity fine now understand this thing when you have tied this wet cloth when you have tied this wet cloth if you keep it in a room if you keep it in a room where humidity is very much less more water will evaporate yes or no more water will evaporate if more water will evaporate it will steal more heat or less heat it will steal more heat reading will come down or reading will go up you tell me reading will come down are you getting it or not so now understand this particular thing reading at wet bulb temperature in very simple word indicates the humidity that is there in the room are you getting it or not if wet bulb temperature is high if wet bulb temperature is high it means that water was not able to evaporate if a wet bulb temperature is low it means that water was able to evaporate from the cloth that we have tied here is it making some sense or not so in very simple words what wet bulb temperature is indicative of wet bulb temperature is indicative of relative humidity are you getting it or not understand this thing i will keep both the thermometers in the same room dry bulb temperature i am getting a reading of i am getting the reading of 40 degrees celsius okay wet bulb temperature i am getting the reading of 20 degrees celsius second case dry bulb temperature i am getting the reading of 40 degrees celsius it is same hi rahega theek ye 40 degrees celsius hai lekin yahan pe wet bulb temperature let's say reading i am getting is 35 degree celsius what it means it means here humidity was more and because humidity was more the wet bulb temperature is high here humidity is less because humidity is less more water could evaporate from that cloth and as more water evaporated it took more heat and the reading came down are you getting it or not now this concept is very important understand why now see this particular thing there is a concept of heat index there is a concept of heat index now heat index is made up of two things heat index is made up of two things heat index mein do cheeze hoti hai kya do cheeze hoti hai temperature plus humidity temperature plus humidity makes heat index now in your mobile phone if you ever checked the temperature you will find two data one actual temperature and what what temperature feels like one is actual temperature and what is the temperature feels like when we talk about this feels like this is actually the heat index that they are talking about which contains two things that is a temperature and humidity now let me give you one example here and by that you will be able to understand it better so there is a case study of saudi arabia dahran there is a place in saudi arabia dahran now uh, there was the dry bulb temperature it, it was in uh, some 2000s dry bulb temperature was 42 degree celsius dry bulb temperature is 42 degree celsius theek hai 
it is very normal in delhi also after a few days you will find 42 degree temperature will be there but along with the dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature on this particular day was 35 degree celsius so when wet is here uh, sorry, uh, dry is here wet is here heat index feels like feels like aapko feel kitna hota hai it feels like 81 degree celsius it feels like 81 degree celsius samajh mein aa raha hai kuch 42 degree celsius is quite normal it happens in delhi also in the month of june it was 42 degree there also but along with that wet bulb temperature was 35 degree celsius and when you see the heat index it feels like that it is 81 degree celsius can you bear this temperature no you cannot bear this particular temperature now understand its impact on human beings understand its impact on human being see this particular thing humans suppose uh, suppose temperature increases temperature increases how my body will respond to that increased temperature how my body respond to that increased temperature i will sweat humans have sweat based cooling mechanism humans have sweat based cooling mechanism what will happen temperature increases i will sweat and the sweat it will evaporate from my body when it will evaporate from my body it will give a cooling sensation to my body my body's core temperature will come down are you waiting this is the way by which the humans they cool their bodies samajh mein aa raha hai ya nahi aa raha but for evaporation of sweat i need that the humidity in the environment should be less are you getting it or not now if wet bulb temperature is increasing it means that humidity is it going up or is it going down batao if wet bulb temperature is increasing humidity is going up are you getting if humidity will go up sweat on our bodies will not evaporate now understand this thing there is a particular range till which humans can bear the heat index now understand this thing that upper range is 35 degree celsius if wet bulb temperature wet bulb temperature goes to 35 degree celsius after that humidity will be so much after that the humidity is so much that human body cannot cool it cannot function properly so upper tolerance range of a human body in terms of the wet bulb temperature is 35 degree celsius is it clear or not theek hai now according to according to this ipcc report what they say it says that wet bulb temperature is increasing which is used to measure both heat and humidity and wet bulb temperature how it is measured we have seen this particular thing now it says that lucknow and patna fine they are the cities which will see the wet bulb temperature in the range of 35 degree celsius in the next 10 to 15 years these are the cities where wet bulb temperature will reach to 35 degree celsius are you waiting it or not okay now only solution when the wet bulb temperature is going up is to use air conditioners is to use air conditioner desert coolers they don't work fans will not work only use ac who can use air conditioners only rich people and using ac will lead to more carbon emission more carbon emission lead to more heat more heat will lead to more humidity wet bulb temperature will go up who is emitting these emissions rich people past also now also but impact sabse zyada kiske upar mein hoga poor people are you waiting it or not so wet bulb temperature concept explains multiple things wet bulb temperature is indicative of increased relative humidity it is related to mortalities around the world why because it leads to the high intensity of heat index and high intensity of heat index leads to strokes it leads to uh, heat uh, heat shocks etc are you getting it or not Okay. So, in the past, we have seen that the conceptual aspects of the questions from environment and geography has been asked. So, please keep it in mind if in case a question comes. Samaj mein aagya ya nahi aagya? Everybody, are we clear or not? Can we move? So, they have talked about the wet bulb temperature. Now, in this particular context, this was also in the newspaper. IMD, Indian Meteorological Department has come out with the heat hazard score. Heat hazard 
स्कोर वट इज दिस हीट हजार्ड स्कोर हीट हजार्ड स्कोर इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ हीट इंडेक्स ओनली सो हु हैज कम आउट विद द हीट हजार्ड इंडेक्स आई एम डी वट इज दिस हीट हजार्ड इंडेक्स इट इज इट इट कंबाइन टू थिंग्स दैट इज टेम्परेचर एज वेल एज ह्यूमिडिटी ओके देन फर्दर दे हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट नाउ दीज आर पॉइंट आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज राइट इफ एनवायरमेंट रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन इज देयर सी लेवल कुड राइज टू टू मीटर टू फाइव मीटर बाई टू वन फाइव जीरो सेकेंड आई पी सी सी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दे हैव सेट दैट वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इन एविटेबल नाउ इन पैरिस इन पैरिस टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन द टारगेट वॉज टेकन पैरिस टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टारगेट वॉज टेकन दैट वी शुड एंश्योर दैट ग्लोबल टेम्परेचर शुड नॉट गो बियॉन्ड टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड इफ पॉसिबल देन वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस सो वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द एम्बिशियस रेंज टेकन अंडर द पैरिस एग्रीमेंट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड दिस आई पी सी सी रिपोर्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम कंक्लूसिवली दे हैव सेड अर्लियर दे हैव सेड दैट इट इज प्रोबेबल दैट वी माइट नॉट रीच इट बट नाउ कंक्लूसिवली दे हैव सेड दैट वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इज अन अवॉइडेबल आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट ठीक है देन वर्ल्ड हैज ऑलरेडी डिप्लीटेड एट्टी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द कार्बन बजट एंड सी लेवल राइज फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द सी लेवल राइज विल बी बिकॉज ऑफ द थर्मल एक्सपेंशन सो वेन यू हीट द वॉटर द वॉटर थर्मली द वॉटर एक्सपैंड बिकॉज ऑफ हीट सो द वॉटर दैट इज नाउ स्टोर्ड इन द आइस कैप्स वेन दैट वॉटर विल मेल्ट इट विल एक्सपैंड एंड 50% of the temperature rise will be because of the thermal expansion is it clear or not dobara summarize karte hain water bond disease will increase vector bond disease will increase it has also talked about the increase in circulatory respiratory disease now usually you will not connect it agar question aata hai ki recently ipcc report usme char statement diya hua hai aapko identify karna hai kaun sa to water bond vector bond diseases to common sense aap kar doge but respiratory disease diabetes You might not say that okay. You'll say that this is a very far-fetched assumption. Hai. But no, they have talked about this also. Is it clear or not? Wet bulb temperature is going to reduce, or it will going to go up. It will go up. It captures two things: humidity and heat. Is it clear? IPCC report ki finding hai. ठीक है. Fine. okay huge impact will be on the himalayan region because of their fragile nature and the monsoons will decline is it clear or not the next topic un high sea treaty un high sea treaty un high sea treaty now okay uh, i think editing mein shayad kuch issue hai uh, this photograph it has come here ये फोटोग्राफ है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द आईपीसीसी प्रीवियस टॉपिक दैट वी हैव सीन सो इट इज गिविंग द समरी ऑफ द प्रीवियस आईपीसीसी रिपोर्ट दैट वर देयर सो आई फाइन ठीक है सो फिफ्थ रिपोर्ट आई टोल्ड यू बिकेम द बेसिस ऑफ द पैरिस एग्रीमेंट पैरिस एग्रीमेंट वाज साइंड इन 2015 फिफ्थ रिपोर्ट वाज रिलीज्ड इन 2014 ओके नाउ यूएन हाई सी ट्रीटी यूएन हाई सी ट्रीटी सो बेसिकली इट हैज बीन साइंड अंडर the ages of the un clause united nation convention on the law of peace now already you might be knowing this particular thing and not if not then let's see this thing okay let's say this is the coast internal waters internal waters from the coast line area till 12 nautical miles from the coastline area till 12 nautical miles in the sea ye kya hota hai these are territorial waters these are the territorial waters the na nation has sovereignty on this particular area then next 12 nautical miles are contiguous zone next 12 nautical miles is contiguous zone and yahan se leke 200 nautical miles it is exclusive economic zone eez exclusive economic zone fine a country has 
a country has rights over the resources that will be found in this exclusive economic zone area beyond this area beyond this is this is high seas is high seas now how is seas are international waters they are to be left free for navigation no country can claim the high seas is it clear or not and as the high seas are international water fine no country's sovereignty extends on it what has happened high seas are now getting polluted are you getting it or not a lot of emissions from the shipping oil spills fine hazardous emissions from the shipping mainly they are impacting the high seas up till now we did not had any treaty covering this particular area high seas we did not had any treaty for the high seas and now for the first time un high sea treaty has been signed so now for the first time what has happened un high sea treaty has been signed so this particular treaty is adopted by whom it has been adopted by the intergovernmental conference on maritime biodiversity of area beyond national jurisdiction are you waiting it or not however up till now up till now it has not come in force why it has not come in force because it will come in force when at least 60 60 countries will ratify it up till now they have not ratified it but it has been signed it has not come in the force this is the first treaty on the high sea areas now this particular treaty what it mainly focuses upon it mainly focuses upon recognizing the rights and traditional knowledge of indigenous people okay scientific research freedom of scientific research in the high sea also it aims to establish marine protected areas marine protected areas in international water so these are the core areas please underline it in your notes theek okay. hai are you getting it or not so these are the main goals as of now no need to go beyond it for your examination then global biodiversity framework fund global biodiversity framework fund and gef global environment facility okay <clears throat> now <clears throat> so let's understand this particular topic okay see this particular thing 1992 earth summit 1992 earth summit out of earth summit uh, from this earth summit one key outcome was cbd convention on biological diversity it was an outcome of 1992 earth summit now convention on biological diversity what it aims number one it aims preservation of biodiversity it aims the preservation of biodiversity secondly it aims for sustainable use sustainable use of biodiversity preserve karo biodiversity ko ensure there is no threat to biodiversity sustainable use of biodiversity fair and equitable sharing of fair and equitable sharing of biological resources or equitable sharing of benefits benefits arising out of bio diversity teen goal hai are you getting it or not number 1 preserve bio diversity number 2 sustainable use of bio diversity and number 3 fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of bio diversity is it clear or not now conference of parties conference of parties which is the uh, uh, basically conference of parties happen from time to time of this cbd ek hoti hai cop of unf triple c are you getting it or not recently 28th cop of unf triple c was held where it was held in dubai wo alag hai now we are talking about the cop conference of parties of of cbd are you getting it or not so cop 15 was held in 
COP15 was held in 2022. This COP20, this this COP15, it led to this COP15, it led to Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Are you able to understand or not? So 15th COP of CBD, it led to the finalization of Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Are you getting it or not? Now, what is this Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework? This particular framework, this particular framework, it has 23 targets. Okay, Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Is may taste target. How many targets are 23. These 23 targets are to be achieved by which year? 2030. Not possible to remember all these 23 and not needed to uh, go in all these 23 because they are having so much of hairline data. But main our main goals of this Global Biodiversity Framework is number one. 30 by 30 goal. Protect at least 30% of world's land and inland waters and 30% of its coastal and marine areas by 2030. Protect marine, uh, uh, protect 30% of the world's land and inland waters and 30% of the coastal and marine areas by 2030. Second goal, reduce the rate of loss uh, of areas of high biodiversity value at least by half by 2030. Now see this thing. <clears throat> Western hearts are getting depleted, yes or no? Amazon rainforest is getting depleted, depleted, yes or no? Now Amazon rainforest, Western hearts, these are the areas of high biodiversity. Okay, so the area which is reducing at a present rate, speed, whose speed ko aapko 50% kam karna. Suppose this year, right now, every year, let's say, 100 hectare of land is getting lost. We need to reduce its speed. We need to go to 50 hectare. Samaj mein aaraya niyara. Reduce the introduction of new invasive alien species by at least 50 percent. Are you getting it or not? So invasive alien species, for example, eucalyptus is an invasive alien species in India. Okay, lantana kamara is an invasive alien species. So these invasive alien species, when they populate an area, they wipe out the native indigenous population. Are you getting? So their introduction is to be reduced by 50 percent and at least 200 billion dollar per year are to be mobilized by 2030 for biodiversity preservation. At least 200 billion dollar per year are to be mobilized for biodiversity preservation. So these are the targets. These are the targets which have been taken under the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Now you tell me, to meet these targets, to fulfill these targets, do you need some money or not? So basically what happened, Global Environment Facility, Global Environment Facility was appointed as an agency to implement this or to provide for the financial mechanism for this GB, uh, Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Samaj mein Now, what is GEF? Ab ek naya word aagya, GEF. So basically, GEF, GEF, Global Environment Facility. No global environment facility is a is also it also emerged out of 1992 Earth Summit. It is a financial mechanism. It is a multilateral body which provides funding for the projects related to environment, biodiversity, etc. Samaste. Now, when we talk about global GF, global environment facility. Right now, it serves as, it provides the finances to CBD, Convention on Biological Diversity, already we are discussing it, or Dekhbiliya, 
यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज उसके लिए फाइनेंस कौन प्रोवाइड करता है ग्लोबल एनवायरमेंट फैसिलिटी स्टॉकहोम कन्वेंशन ऑन परसिस्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक पॉल्यूटेंट्स यूएन कन्वेंशन टू कॉम्बैट डेजर्टिफिकेशन एंड मीना माता कन्वेंशन ऑन मरकरी दीज आर दम मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वंस ओके दीज आर दम मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वंस ठीक है मॉन्ट्रियाल प्रोटोकॉल के लिए भी ग्लोबल एनवायरमेंट जीईएफ प्रोवाइड्स अ फाइनेंशियल मैकेनिज्म यस समझ में आ रहा है सो इट सर्व्स इट प्रोवाइड्स इट प्रोवाइड्स अ फाइनेंसेस अंडर दीज फाइव कन्वेंशंस आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट नाउ व्हाट हैपेंड फॉर फॉर फाइनेंसेस फॉर द Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework also who was appointed G E F who was appointed G E F and recently why it was in news 64th G E F Council meeting was held where it was held it was held in Brazil and it has approved the establishment of a new fund that is the Global Biodiversity Framework Fund Global Biodiversity Framework Fund. ध्यान देना है a lot of things are connected here with each other. Are you getting it or not? Confused नहीं होना कौन कहां पे क्या कर रहा है I will give you a crisp summary. सबसे पहले क्या आएगा CBD, Convention on Biological Diversity. Convention on Biological Diversity की 15th COP. It's 15th COP. ठीक है 15th COP के अंदर में क्या निकला Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. How many targets were there? 23 some of the targets we have seen for these implementation of these targets you need money they requested whom they requested whom they requested gef that you are giving money so so many people humko bhi de do and now the gef has approved the separate fund for the implementation of for the implementation of kunming montreal framework gef has approved the fund for the kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework, and this fund will be known as GBF, Global Biodiversity Framework. Are you getting it or not? समझ में आ रहा है? Clear? Very good. ठीक है. One more thing. As we are talking about CBD, Convention on Biological Diversity, just additional piece of information. If you want to write, you can. If you know already, no need. Under CBD. There are two supplementary protocols also that are there. That is Cartagena Protocol and Nagoya Protocol. Okay, Cartagena Protocol. Kis ki baat karta hai? Cartagena Protocol talks about bio safety. Cartagena Protocol talks about bio safety. it restricts the introduction of a certain living modified organism it restricts the introduction of certain li living modified organism are you getting it or not ab do cheeze samjho there are two words one is gmo genetically modified organisms and one is lmo living modified organisms usually you can use them interchangeably okay but cartagena specifically uses the word living modified organisms understand this thing what is a gen genetically modified organism genetically modified organism is anyone whose gene structure has been changed are you getting it or not who has underwent a genetic modification today we are coming out with so many of the genetically modified crops are you getting it or not now understand this thing living modified organism is specifically one who can further reproduce and can give for example there is a particular variety of crop there is a particular variety of crop this crop is a genetically modified crop you take a seed of this particular crop and you plant that particular seed new plant that will be there it will, let's say will also have the same genetic genetic structure are you waiting it or not so basically jab hum living modified organism ki baat karte hain so living modified organism includes all those gmos which can lead to further 
further reproduction or further copies of the same genetic structure are you getting it or not so cartagena uses specifically the word living modified organism any those organisms whose genetic structure has been changed and they can lead to further copies of the same genetic structure are you getting it or not so ye jab genetically modified organisms ya genetically modified variety of organisms when they will be there what they can threaten they can threaten the native or they can threaten the other species is it clear or not so cartagena protocol talks about bio safety and talks about the restriction on the introduction of certain types of lmos living modified organisms and nagoya protocol talks about the equitable and fair distribution of resources of biodiversity are you getting it or not fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of biodiversity is it clear or not understand one more thing ek aur samjho aichi targets aichi targets are also there aichi targets are under aichi targets are under nagoya aichi targets are under nagoya is it clear or not हाँ जी ये दोबारा बताइए नहीं नहीं हाँ ये तो पुराना है नया अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वट आई एम वट आई वॉज आई एम टेलिंग दैट दिस इज अ रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन दैट आई सेड कि दैट रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन अगर आता है तो कीप इट इन माइंड are you waiting it or not it targets were 20 targets that were be before this but if a question comes that they are under the purview of what so they are under the purview of cbd are you waiting it or not theek hai they were to be achieved by 2020 inki jo deadline thi it targets ki wo kab ke kab tak ki thi 2020 theek hai now that particular timeline has been expired so now what is the latest one latest one is the कोनमिंग मॉन्ट्रियल ग्लोबल बायोडाइवर्सिटी फ्रेमवर्क दिस इज द लेटेस्ट जो भी चल रहा है इससे पहले क्या था आईची था आईची किसके अंदर में था किसके अंदर में था सीबीडी में सीबीडी में किसके अंदर था नगोया में था ठीक है तो पता होना चाहिए कहां पे क्या आ रहा है दिस थिंग शुड बी क्लियर शुड नॉट बी कंफ्यूज ओके वो कहां था वो कहां था आर वी क्लियर और नॉट ही कैन बी मूव ठीक है okay so gef already we have seen it was an outcome of 1992 earth summit theek hai now okay the gef assembly uh, composed of 185 member countries of participants under the summit and india is also the member next world environment day world environment day so 2023 world environment day completed 50 years theek hai 1972 stockholm stockholm conference happened 1972 you remember stockholm conference which was the first high profile international conference on environment and climate change india also participated in stockholm so to commemorate the stockholm the world environment day Started to get celebrated on 1973. Go first World Environment Day. Who was that? So World Environment Day is celebrated to commemorate the Stockholm Conference that was organized in 1972. Are you waiting it or not? And since then, every year World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th of June. This 2023 World Environment Day completed 50 years. Now some important aspects with respect to it. World Environment Day. It is observed under UN EP. United Nation Environment Program. Now, when we talk about the United Nation Environment Program, it also emerges out of it emerges out of the Stockholm Conference of 1972. Now, understand one more thing. When we talk about UNEP, UNEP was the first UN body which had its headquarter in the third world country. Its headquarter are in Nairobi. 
their headquarters are in nairobi kenya are you waiting it or not so under developed countries theek hai third world countries this was the first body whose headquarter was in third world country that is the nairobi kenya so unep it celebrates the world environment day now 50th world environment day it was hosted by cot di ivory cot di ivory in partnership with the netherlands and what was the theme theme was beat plastic pollution now question comes a statement might be there india never hosted world environment day this is wrong india has already hosted world environment day in 2018 so 45 the world environment day 2018 was hosted by whom it was hosted by india and the theme here that is the 45th world environment day and the theme of the 50th world environment day were the same theek hai what was the theme beat plastic pollution 45th also the theme was same is it clear or not now india on the occasion of world environment day has come out with some scheme one scheme which is very important what it has come out with mishti 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 stands for mangrove initiative for shoreline habitats and tangible income to commemorate the 58th world environment day mishti scheme was announced now this particular scheme focuses on what coral mangrove tribal people plastic kis pe focus karta hai it focuses on mangrove preservation is it clear or not <clears throat> now already you might be knowing about the mangroves mangroves are a special type of forest or plants which grow in intertidal zones intertidal zone they thrive in muddy water salty water now when we talk about mangroves mishti when we talk about mishti mishti aims to protect the mangrove cover and its target areas its target areas are sundarban delta hugli estuary hugli estuary and the bay parts of india is it clear when we talk about the sundarbans sundarbans it is world heritage site it is world heritage site and sundarban shared by between india and west bengal uh, india and bangladesh shared between india and bangladesh it is the biggest mangrove cover in the world sundarbans shared by india and bangladesh it is the biggest mangrove cover of the world and is it clear or not now when we talk about when we talk about the uh, mangroves fine understand this thing india mein sabse zyada mangrove cover kahan pe hai sabse zyada mangrove cover kahan hai sabse zyada mangrove cover in india is in west bengal number 1 is west bengal number 2 is gujarat and number 3 is andaman and nicobar islands is it clear number 1 or number 2 jyada important hai west bengal and gujarat these two states have the highest mangrove cover west bengal and gujarat is it clear or not theek hai vv parity fine vivi parity is one of the adaptation within the mangroves are you waiting it or not already a question came in upsc upsc ke that jo plants hain which are in desert ya fir jahan pani kam hota hai wahan pe kya adaptation hogi shiny leaves will be there no leaves will shiny leaves or no leaves thorns will be there fine so vivi parity is one of adaptation in the mangroves what happens in vivi parity seeds germinate within the tree itself seeds germinate within the plant itself and after germination the seed will fall vivi parity is one of the adaptation in mangroves where the seed will germinate within the plant itself and after the germination the seed will fall is it clear or not fine one related scheme is there which was uh, announced into the last to last budget related hai 
इसलिए थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूजन ना हो तो देख लो अमृत धरोहर भी है ना अमृत धरोहर इज फॉर वेटलैंड अमृत धरोहर मिष्टी फाइन मिष्टी इज फॉर बैंगरू अमृत धरोहर इज फॉर वेटलैंड इज इट क्लियर जस्ट फॉर द सेक दैट देर शुड बी नो कंफ्यूजन फाइन आई हैव रिटर्न इट हेयर सो वट इट डज इट एम्स टू कंजर्व द वेटलैंड ओके एंड एम्स टू बिल्ड द कन्वर्जेंसेज विद द मल्टीपल मिनिस्ट्रीज एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स Are we clear or not? ठीक है Now, okay, one more thing. When we talk about mangroves, okay, so uh, this question was asked uh, that जो uh, wetland है wetland are facing the biggest crisis because of the a lot of areas where the wetlands are there, they are being used for paddy cultivation. मैंग्रूव्स का क्या हो रहा है श्रिम्प कल्टिवेशन हैज इंपैक्टेड द मैंग्रूव्स 35 परसेंट ऑफ द मैंग्रूव्स इन इंडिया दे हैव बीन इंपैक्टेड बाय द श्रिम्प कल्टिवेशन ओके द एरियाज दे आर बीइंग यूज फॉर द श्रिम्प कल्टिवेशन वेयर द मैंग्रूव्स आर इज इट क्लियर सो इट इज अ थ्रेट जस्ट रिमेंबर इट नाउ यूएनईपी यूनाइटेड नेशन एनवायरमेंट प्रोग्राम इज द वन हु होस्टेड द हु होस्ट वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे so when we talk about the unep it emerged out of the stockholm conference of 1972 headquartered in nairobi kenya now these are some of the reports that are released by stockholm <coughs> these are some of the reports that are released by stock uh, sorry unep iske andar mein kuch correction kar lijiye ek baar okay ab uh, isko bas kaat lijiyega na ठीक है ओके दीज रिपोर्ट आर रिलीज बाय यूएन ईपी ओके काट लीजिए सिक्स एट्थ और इलेवेंथ सिक्स एट्थ एंड इलेवेंथ ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट रिलीज बाय यूएन EP United Nation Environment Program. Just go through this. Okay, the next Corsia plan was in news. Corsia plan was in news. Now, what is this Corsia plan? So, basically, this Corsia plan was agreed to reduce the emission CO two emission from the international flights. Fine. Now, understand this thing. Transportation industry is one of a large emitter of carbon. and when we talk about the transportation aviation and shipping aviation and shipping are the two major carbon emitters is it clear so for reduction of carbon emission by aviation industry what has come corsia plan has been agreed now understand this thing this corsia plan what it aims it aims to reduce the carbon emission from from aviation flights and the baseline is 2019 2020 and one important thing it only applies to international flights international flights domestic flights it does not applies international flights which are covered under chicago convention which are covered under chicago convention to agar ye question bhi aata hai ki that chicago convention recently news relates to what so it relates to the aviation sector ठीक है तो मल्टीपल तरीके से टॉपिक को समझो इज इट क्लियर और नॉट मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट ब्लू ओशन इवेंट वॉज इन न्यूज नो व्हाट इज ब्लू ओशन इवेंट ब्लू ओशन इवेंट परटेन्स टू अनेरियो वेर द आर्कटिक ओशन विल बिकम आइस फ्री वेर आर्कटिक ओशन विल बिकम आर्कटिक रीजन विल बिकम आइस फ्री सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग टूडे a lot of areas which are under ice it is because they are under ice what why understand this thing because these areas under ice because of their white color they have high albedo because of that what happens they reflect a lot of incoming solar radiation but if these areas lost their ice what will happen they will absorb the incoming solar radiation and the temperature rise will increase are you getting it or not 
so what is blue ocean event blue ocean event refers to a climate tipping point this is an example of a climate tipping point abhi climate tipping point kya hote hain climate tipping point are those events which will have irreversible catastrophic impact on environment and earth irreversible catastrophic impact hoga some example of blue uh, sorry uh, climate tipping points arctic sea ice if it melts if it melts and multiple reports says that it will melt by 2030 theek hai amazon rainforest now amazon rainforest they are called as the lungs of the world so if they get lost it will be a climate tipping point and any change in atlantic meridional overturning circulation are you getting it or not so we see that atlantic ocean warm water moves towards north and cold water comes towards the south to atlantic ocean mein jo circulation hai so atlantic ocean ke jo circulations hai major circulations hai they are referred to as amo c any change if that comes in the circulations if those patterns get disturbed are you getting it or not then it will be an example of the climate tipping point so this type of question can be there that they will give a statement and will ask that what of the following in me se kon hai example of climate tipping point are you getting it or not so blue ocean event is a climate tipping point theek hai amoc is a climate tipping point fine destruction of amazon rainforest is a climate tipping point is it clear or not samajh me aa gaya kya hai blue ocean event pertains to atlantic or arctic आर्कटिक और अटलांटिक आर्कटिक ठीक है देन नेक्स्ट ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम ग्रीन क्रेडिट क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम सो रिसेंटली ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम वॉज अनाउंस बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज ना so india in cop26 that was held in glasgow so in cop26 that was held in glasgow 2021 india said that we will come out with a life movement what is this life movement life stands for lifestyle for environment movement up till now the movements that have been there which they, they have focused largely on industry largely they have focused on emissions uh, emissions by carbon carbon emissions by major players industries etc life movement focuses on inducing climate consciousness in consumers two third of the emissions are by the consumers so if consumers become conscious we will be able to reduce a lot of carbon emission ठीक है तो लाइफ मूवमेंट गॉट स्टार्टेड अंडर दिस लाइफ मूवमेंट ग्लोबल सॉरी ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम हैज गॉट स्टार्टेड व्हाट इज दिस ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम सो एंड सो व्हाट कैन हैपन इंडिविजुअल्स इंडस्ट्रीज इफ दे वांट एफपीओ फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज ग्राम पंचायत प्राइवेट सेक्टर व्हाट दे कैन डू they can undertake activities in eight sectors that are here and if they undertake the activities here they will earn the green credit so kya eight activities hain eight activities tree plantation water conservation sustainable agriculture waste management air pollution reduction mangrove conservation eco mark sustainable infrastructure are you getting it or not they can involve undertake these eight type of activities and for that they will earn the green credit for that they can earn the green credit and this green credit this green credit will be tradable this green credit will be tradable are you getting it or not where it will be tradable how it will be tradable that particular thing would be finalized in the times to Uh, देखो क्या है ना दैट 
लोकली सोर्स मेटीरियल है फॉर एग्जाम्पल उसके बहुत सारे यूजेज हो सकते हैं आपने लोकली सोर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल मिट्टी के बर्तन बना लिए विच कैन रिप्लेस प्लास्टिक कटलरी आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट तो वर्किंग इन दैट पर्टिकुलर जॉन ओके प्रमोटिंग सच काइंड ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ जॉन ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग तो दीज आर द एट एक्टिविटीज इफ यू इन्वॉल्व इन दीज पर्टिकुलर एट एक्टिविटीज ठीक है यू विल अर्न द ग्रीन क्रेडिट एंड दीज ग्रीन क्रेडिट विल बी क्रेडिबल आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट तो ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम हैज बीन अनाउंस नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग on the line of this green credit program this is an additional information if you remember 28 cop was held recently kahan pe dubai in this 28 cop india and dubai they have agreed to start a similar program that is the global green credit initiative global green credit initiative now thoda sa samjho what is happening what is happening countries around the world are they moving towards carbon neutrality yes or no they are moving towards the carbon neutrality and in order to become the carbon neutral many countries what they are doing they are imposing certain obligatory green activities on the industries if you pollute up to a particular level you have to undertake some green activity are you getting suppose an industry is not able to undertake that particular activity for example i am a steel industry and i am emitting 100 units of carbon per year now to make up for that i need to let's say plant 100 trees also but i am not able to do that what you have planted the 100 trees theek hai you have planted the 100 trees i will give you money and from you i will buy that particular carbon uh, that green credit are you getting abhi green credit wide hai carbon credit se green credit is wider than the carbon credit are you getting it or not carbon credit is given for those activities which are directly leading to the reduction in carbon emission green credit usse wide hai are you getting it or not water conservation aapne kar diya aapko green credit milega samajh mein aa raha hai to scope of green credit is broader than the carbon credit theek hai so what has happened india and ue they have come out with a global global green card credit initiative which will connect the communities at global level communities self help groups companies etc fine and they can participate in this particular program through one market place through one market place suppose a european country sorry european company had an obligation to plant 100 trees they were not able to do that people let's say they are also don't have time to do that what they can do aapne so pedal laga rakhe hai ठीक है आपको पैसे देके आपसे क्रेडिट ले लिया तो क्या है एट द एंड ऑफ द डेट इज विन विन फॉर ऑल समझ में आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है ओके सो दिस ग्लोबल ग्रीन क्रेडिट इनिशिएटिव इट इज एन इंटरनेशनल काउंटर पार्ट इट इज एन इंटरनेशनल काउंटर पार्ट ऑफ द ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंडिया ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम स्टार्टेड अंडर विच प्रोग्राम लाइफ स्टार्टेड अंडर विच प्रोग्राम लाइफ and on international front it is started by which two countries india and dubai are you getting it or not green credit will encompass only those activities which will offset carbon yes or no yes or no han ji yes or no no not only carbon emissions it will cater to the wider area is it clear or not fine moving on there was also this related uh, information is there national carbon registry is also there so if a question comes what is this national carbon registry in very simple word ek line ke andar mein it is a platform or it is a software which has been which has been prepared by undp united nation development program what it can do it can help the country to manage their carbon credit okay carbon credit program carbon trading if any country is implementing or is trying to implement or thinking to implement they can manage their domestic carbon credit program through this platform and this platform is prepared by whom un dp un ep or un dp un dp not ep the next is clim climate poly crisis climate poly crisis 
Now, often these terms they have asked in the prelims examination that this term was in news, what it means. So, climate poly crisis, kya hai? climate poly crisis is interconnectedness of one climate disaster leading to other disaster. Okay, example, ho sakte for example, listen, recently there, is a, there was this glow, glacial lake outburst flood. First, it was in Uttarakhand, then it happened in Pine Sikkim. What is glow? Glacial lake outburst flood. Tamaste ek minute ke liye. Listen. Suppose there is glacier. There is a glacier. Now this glacier is melting, and as this glacier is melting, it has made a glacial lake. It has made a glacial lake. So you will find a lot of glacial lakes in the upper reaches of Himalaya. These lakes are being fed by the glaciers. Now these gla these lakes are natural lakes. They are held together with the help of silt, stones, pebbles, etc. Sometimes what happens? The volume of water increases in these particular lakes. This volume of water can increase because of multiple reasons. One reason is that there is a cloud burst that happened and suddenly a lot of water came in this particular lake. Now what happens? These lakes fail. These lakes fail natural embankments that have contained these lakes those natural embankments will fail and what it will lead to it will lead to gushing water in the valley areas or on the slopes and this flood will lead to disasters okay now these glacial lake outburst flood events glow events they have increased particularly because of the climate change what is happening because of the climate change temperature is going up as the temperature is going up, the speed at which the glaciers are melting, that speed is increasing. And as glaciers are melting fast, more events of glow are happening. Now, glacial lake outburst flood, it is one crisis. Because of this flood, what will happen? There might be a landslide that will happen. Are you getting it or not? So, one climate event, flood, led to other disaster that is landslide. Are you getting it or not? ठीक है उस लैंडस्लाइड से मान लेते आग लग गई आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट या उस लैंडस्लाइड से कोई नीचे रिजर्वायर था वो रिजर्वायर डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया उससे फिर और फ्लड आ गया तो वन क्राइसिस लीडिंग टू अदर क्राइसिस एंड दैट फर्स्ट प्राइमरी क्राइसिस रीजन इज क्लाइमेट चेंज दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लाइमेट पॉली क्राइसिस फाइन सो व्हाट इट इज इंटरकनेक्टेडनेस एंड कंपाउंडिंग क्राइसिस रिलेटेड टू क्लाइमेट चेंज which impacts the multiple sectors and will impact multiple domains <clears throat> hydroclimate extremes hydroclimate extremes okay so hydroclimate extremes are the climatic events which pertain water cycle of the earth so because of climate change drought aa gaya because of climate change flooding ho gayi because of climate change excessive rainfall because of climate change no rainfall so climatic impacts which will have an impact on earth's water cycle they are called as hydroclimate extremes hydroclimate extremes <clears throat> fine now when we talk about hydroclimate extreme so rainfall is expected to increase over the western ghat and northeast fine heavy uh, uh, high rainfall in western ghat and northeast heavy rainfall intensity in the upper ganga and indus basin and drought in the lower ganga basin so jahan pe high rainfall it will lead to flood low rainfall lead to drought famine and other such related events next attach attach so recently attach has been notified what attach is attach stands for alliance for transformative action on climate and health now what is attach attach is a platform under who world health organization now understand this particular thing because climate is changing because climate is changing it has a lot of impact on health for example first article we have seen that because of the climate change what will happen respiratory disease will increase infectious disease water borne vector borne disease will increase so what is an attach attach is a platform created under the who where the individuals civil societies governments can come together and can discuss 
दैट हाउ क्लाइमेट इंपैक्ट ऑन हेल्थ कैन बी रिड्यूज और कैन बी मिटिगेटेड सो वट अटैच अटैच ओके इट इज अ वॉलेंट्री नेटवर्क वॉलेंट्री नेटवर्क वेयर पार्टिसिपेंट्स कैन शेयर इंफॉर्मेशन एक्सचेंज व्यूज एंड इंप्रूव टेक्निकल एंड पॉलिटिकल कॉपरेशन ऑन द फ्रंट ऑफ क्लाइमेट एंड हेल्थ दैट हाउ क्लाइमेट इंपैक्ट ऑन हेल्थ कैन बी मिटिगेटेड हाउ क्लाइमेट इंपैक्ट ऑन हेल्थ कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड इज इट क्लियर और नॉट तो क्लाइमेट है तो डोंट थिंक यूएनईपी या यूएनएफ ट्रिपल सी आएगा दिमाग में इट इज अंडर डब्ल्यू एच ओ ओके इट इज नॉट अ डिस्टिंक्ट लीगल एंटिटी इट इज अंडर डब्ल्यू एच ओ नेक्स्ट समिट फॉर न्यू ग्लोबल फाइनेंसिंग पैक्ट समिट फॉर न्यू ग्लोबल फाइनेंसिंग okay summit for new global financing pact <clears throat> now this particular summit was recently organized in paris now see new global financing pact so basically a developing countries has a contention that developed countries which were expected to provide finance to developing countries for energy transition for meeting with the climate change that money has not come and to raise forward this particular demand again so by 2020 by 2020 developed countries were expected to provide 100 billion dollar per year to developing country to meet with the climate change but that money has not come now this demand it is raised on multiple platforms this demand is raised under un uh, uh unc uh, unf triple c cop and this demand was raised here also and for that this summit for a new global financing pact was organized in this particular summit developing countries has asked that new financial mechanisms for new financial mechanism should be provided for example multi multilateral development banks okay world bank such as these bodies they should provide for more financing to the projects in the developing countries which are aimed towards the energy transition which are aimed towards the climate impact mitigation etc okay so summit for new global financing pact where it was conducted it was conducted in paris and what it was aimed to aimed at enhancing the crisis financing for low income states low income states now what are the takeaways number 1 multi development banks they will provide at least 200 billion dollar of they will provide at least 200 billion dollars 200 billion dollar of lending to the emerging economies so that they can invest in energy transition so that they can invest in building up the structures to fight the climate change second financial support through sdrs so poor country they will receive 100 billion dollar worth of special drawing rights okay so when we talk about sdr what sdr is sdr is a reserve asset under imf it is a form of a currency not technically a currency it is not a currency it is a type of a currency it is a reserve asset sdr is made up of how many currencies kon kon si currencies sdr ke andar mein likh lijiye us dollar euro yuan yen us dollar euro yuan yen and pound usd euro yuan yen and pound is it clear or not so 100 billion dollar worth of sdr will be provided then next just energy transition partnership was signed just energy transition partnership was signed so what is this just energy transition partnership here a dedicated assistance will be provided to senegal senegal is a country in africa so senegal will be provided a credit assistance of 2.5 billion euro so that they can 
मूव टूवर्ड्स रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ठीक है देन नेक्स्ट हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर विच इज ओवर इड यू विच वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रीच बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इट हैज नॉट कम अपिल नाउ टू दिस हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सून ऑल दीज वर द मेजर टेक अवेज ऑफ द समिट फॉर ग्लोबल फाइनेंसिंग And is it clear or not? <clears throat> Next, short-lived halogens. Short-lived halogens. So recently, this uh, was in multiple newspapers. What are the short-lived halogens? Understand this thing. Short-lived halogens. These are the gases which contain halogens such as chlorine. Bromine, iodine. Now, these halogens, okay, containing these particular elements of chlorine, bromine, iodine, okay, their role in climate change is debatable. There are certain studies which says that these short-lived halogens they negatively impact the climate. For example, they are responsible for increasing the temperature. Some study says that they give a cooling effect. to global climate this is debatable why it is debatable samajhte hain number 1 it is found that these short lived halogens what they do they deplete the tropospheric they deplete the tropospheric ozone <clears throat> okay we have ozone in stratosphere that ozone is very important for us it protects us from harmful uv rays but ozone in troposphere it leads to the global warming it leads to the increase in temperature fine what it does what it does it depletes the tropospheric ozone it depletes the tropospheric ozone but at the same time but at the same time what it does it increases the life of methane it increases the life of methane are you getting it or not now when we talk about methane methane is a potent methane has high global warming potential methane has a high global warming potential so methane ka lifetime wo increase kar raha hai aur ozone ko deplete kar raha hai are you getting it or not so what is the net effect of short lived halogens is it cooling or is it heating so recently a study has been published and according to this particular study what is happening it is leading to 8 to 10% of a net cooling effect it is heating also it is cooling also but the cooling effect of short lived halogen is higher than the heating effect is it clear or not now when we talk about the short lived halogens fine why they are called as short lived because their life is less than 6 months their life is less than 6 months and oceans are one of the big emitters of these short lived halogens and within the oceans phytoplankton algae and a lot of abiotic processes that are happening in ocean a lot of abiotic processes that are happening in the ocean they are responsible for the emission of the short lived halogens are you getting it or not लेकिन इनका इंपैक्ट जो है वो डिबेटेबल है इज इट क्लियर ऑन समझ में आ रहा है ओके आल्सो इट इंक्रीजेस द वाटर वेपर तो अभी वाटर वेपर अगर इंक्रीज हो जाएगा तो अगेन इट विल हैव एन इंपैक्ट ऑन द टेम्परेचर तो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इट हैज अ डिबेटेबल देन आई एम ओ स्ट्रेटेजी ऑन रिडक्शन ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन इफ यू रिमेंबर Sometime back we have discussed about the Corsia plan. What the Corsia plan was for? Corsia plan is clearly the to reduce the CO2 emissions emitted by the international flight on the basis of 2019-20 base level. Yes or no? Now this IMO strategy is for reduction in the emissions by shipping industry. So IMO strategy on reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. now understand this particular thing that when we talk about the shipping 
अराउंड 2.8 परसेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोजेनिक एमिशन आर बिकॉज ऑफ द शिपिंग 2.8 परसेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोजेनिक एमिशन इज बाय शिपिंग सो व्हाट इज दिस आईएमओ आईएमओ स्टैंड्स फॉर इंटरनेशनल मैरिटाइम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आईएमओ स्ट्रेटेजी ऑन रिडक्शन ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन इट इज फोकस इज इट फोकस इज ऑन रिडक्शन इन द एमिशन बाय द शिपिंग इंडस्ट्री so greenhouse gas emissions by shipping industry they account for 2.8% of anthropogenic emissions and major emissions by the shipping industry are co2 black carbon nitrogen oxide nitrous oxide and the target kya hai to reduce co2 emission by 40% by 2030 40% by 2030 Are we clear or not? The next India Climate Energy Dashboard, India Climate Energy Dashboard, ICED 3.0. Now this is a dashboard which has been released by Niti Aayog. Okay, who has released it? It has been released by Niti Aayog. Now what it is? Okay, basically it gives the real time information with respect to energy sector. climate change and related economic data sets find for example energy sector how much carbon emission it is leading to what is the share of renewable energies in the total pool of energies what are the other initiatives of government to reduce the carbon emission and what it is impact so all the data with respect to climate energy etc can be availed from the iced 3.0 dashboard and who is who is released this dashboard niti ayog theek hai the next is ecocide 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 is any crime against environment or any crime against ecology okay so for example for example there is an event of usage of uh, agent orange okay agent orange so you might be knowing about the us vietnam war that was going on now in the us vietnam war what us did usa used the agent orange which is dioxin this was a herbicide usa aimed to usa aimed to use this herbicide so that the agricultural production in vietnam vanishes now the war will be over after one year or two year but this chemical that you have used it might lead to repressed agricultural production maybe for 30 40 50 years ya kahin pe ab agricultural crops hi nahi honge 100 saal ke liye war to 2 saal mein khatam ho gaya so such crimes which are against environment such crimes which are against ecology they are referred to as eco sides so it was in news what it refers to unlawful acts committed with knowledge that there is a substantial likelihood of widespread of long term damage to environment okay so it was linked to the usage of agent orange by us and now it is used for any such kind of crime then atlantification atlantification now atlantification was also in use what is atlantification atlantification is a phenomena of Arctic Ocean becoming like Atlantic. Now see, today when we talk about Arctic, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, there is a lot of difference in terms of salinity, in terms of the temperature of water, and this particular dis difference it is maintained because of the high gradient in terms of the temperature of water that is there. Now you see this this particular thing. when we talk about the arctic okay can you see that 
ओके कीबोर्ड नहीं है यहाँ पे कहाँ पे है ओके नो सो okay so if we see here if it is visible to you so we find that let's say here we have arctic ocean here we have atlantic now if we find the top layer of arctic it is frozen by ice okay under this top layer of ice there is cold water that is there okay but when we talk about the water in atlantic ocean it is relatively warm it is relatively warm now understand this thing this warm water of atlantic it does not mixes freely with arctic ocean because of this temperature difference that is there now what is happening what is happening we find this particular thing that as ice is melting in arctic as ice is melting in arctic it will lead to more absorption of heat and the temperature difference that is there in terms of atlantic ocean and arctic that temperature difference will go down and it will lead to further mixing of atlantic ocean's water with the arctic ocean and this event will be called as the atlantification so arctic ocean becoming like atlantic ocean it is called atlantic atlantification are you getting it or not so what is atlantification atlantification it is a process in which warm water from atlantic is being advected into arctic ocean okay making some parts of bering sea more closely res resemble to atlantic is it clear or not that i have explained here that the top layer is ice then there is cold water then there is a the warm water but it does not mixes because of the top layer of ice and cold water but it will mix freely if the temperature ocean warming will continue at the present speed are we clear or not and then we have cop28 key takeaways cop28 key takeaways any doubt if you have till this point you can ask yes kya hai नहीं 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 आप ही समझो ये तो बेसिकली जब एम की बात करते हैं वो तो है ही कि दैट इट विल ब्रिंग दीट इट विल ब्रिंग कोल्ड और वॉर्म मीट बट द पॉइंट इज दैट अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर दैट इज मिक्सिंग आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत तो जरूरी है बिकॉज इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द ओशनिक सर्कुलेशन बट द पॉइंट इज दैट नाउ इट इज मिक्सिंग इवन मोर फ्रीली एंड दैट ग्रेडियंट जो है जो सेंस ऑफ डिफरेंस है वो बिल्कुल खत्म हो जाएगा तो ऐसा नहीं है कि दैट बिल्कुल ही मिक्स नहीं हो रहा था ठीक है तो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द एनवायरमेंटल कन्वेयर बेल्ट्स तो क्या होता है ट्रॉपिक से हीट ट्रांसफर हो रहा है टुवर्ड्स द पोल्स एंड पोल्स से जो बेसिकली जो पोल्स है जो कूलनेस है दैट इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर तो वो तो हो रहा है बट द पॉइंट इज दैट नाउ स्टिल देर वॉज अंस ऑफ डिफरेंस बट दैट डिफरेंस विल कम डाउन बिकॉज फ्रीली मिक्सिंग होना स्टार्ट हो जाएगा ठीक है हाँ जी कारण ये है देखो आप समझो पहले क्यों नहीं हो रहा था ये समझो पहले पहले इसलिए नहीं हो रहा था बिकॉज दैट प्री मिक्सिंग वॉज निगेटेड बाय द डिफरेंस इन टेम्परेचर ऊपर कोल्ड आइस है ऊपर ऊपर आइस है टॉप लेयर आइस है उसके बाद में बहुत ठंडा पानी है ठीक है अभी क्या है बिकॉज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस दोनों के बीच के अंदर में एक सेंस ऑफ सेपरेशन है ठीक है उसके नीचे में फिर आपका वार्म करंट ट्रेवल करता है ठीक है अब क्या हो रहा है ऊपर की आइस मेल्ट हो गई फर्स्ट लेयर और सेकंड लेयर के बीच का डिफरेंस खत्म हो गया इज इट क्लियर नॉट एज आइस इज मेल्टिंग इट विल एब्सॉर्व मोर सोलर इनकमिंग सोलर रेडिएशन दैट वाटर का टेम्परेचर विल कम अप और जो एटलांटिक से आ रहा है उसका टेम्परेचर तो पहले ही कम है ठीक है तो पहले जो ग्रेडियंट था जो पहले बैरियर था दैट बैरियर विल नाउ वैनिश ओके सीओपी ट्वेंटी एट नाउ नाइनटीन यूनाइटेड नेशन 
फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज वॉज साइंड यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज वॉज साइंड दिस यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज इट हैज इट्स इट हैज इट्स मीटिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज ओके नाउ दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज सीओपी ट्वेंटी एट वॉज हेल्ड रिसेंटली इन दुबई सीओपी ट्वेंटी सेवन उससे पहले वॉज हेल्ड इन इजिप्ट सीओपी ट्वेंटी सिक्स उससे पहले वॉज हेल्ड इन ग्लासगो दिस ईयर सीओपी ट्वेंटी एट वॉज हेल्ड इन दुबई ठीक है already in environment you might have read about the earth summit and all such thing now what are the key takeaways of this cop28 that is something that we need to see spe specifically for examination now first of all right now within cop paris agreement was signed in 2015 already you know under paris agreement countries were given indcs intended nationally determined contributions what are these indcs indcs are the voluntary targets that country have taken which they will follow in order to ensure that the temperature rise does not goes beyond 2 degree celsius and if possible beyond 1.5 degree celsius is it clear now Understand this particular thing. That first of all, India का अभी क्या है updated INDCs. What are the INDCs right now? Okay, anyone who can tell, कोई कोई बत कौन बताएगा? Anyone who can tell? Net zero by twenty seventy. ओके okay, चलो बात करते हैं इस पर एनी बडी एल्स समझो पहले तो बहुत जरूरी है देखो इंडिया टुक प्राइमरली थ्री आई एनडीसी टारगेट अंडर 2015 ठीक है ये आई क्या थे नंबर वन रिड्यूस द एमिशन इंटेंसिटी बाय 33 टू 35 परसेंट फाइन रिड्यूस एमिशन इंटेंसिटी बाय 33 टू 35 परसेंट ठीक है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ 2005 का बेसलाइन सेकंड क्या था रिन्यू द शेयर ऑफ रिन्यूएबल Share of renewable energy should be increased to 40 percent in installed energy capacity. 40 percent installed energy capacity किस होना चाहिए? Renewables होना चाहिए. 40 percent. तीसरा क्या था? Carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion ton is to be developed. These targets were to be achieved by 2030 by the way. दोबारा वो देखते हैं. Number one, reduce emission intensity by 33 to 35 percent. Second, second. नॉन फॉसिल फ्यूल का शेयर कितना होना चाहिए 40 परसेंट एंड तीसरा क्या है कार्बन सिंक ऑफ 2.5 टू 3 बिलियन टन स्टेप वन स्टेप टू पंच अमृत गोल वर अनाउंस्ड बाय इंडिया इन सीओपी 26 2021 ग्लासगो व्हाई आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पंच अमृत इन पंच अमृत इंडिया टॉक्ड अबाउट द कार्बन न्यूट्रैलिटी इन पंच अमृत इंडिया टॉक्ट अबाउट कार्बन न्यूट्रैलिटी दैट वी विल बिकम कार्बन न्यूट्रल बाय ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट बट ऑल्सो इट वॉज सेड इट वॉज सेड दैट वन बिलियन टन ऑफ एडिशनल कार्बन स्टोरेज विल बी फोकस्ड बाय इंडिया एडिशनल वन टन वन बिलियन टन ऑफ कार्बन विल बी एब्सॉर्ब बाई इंडिया बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी हर साल का नहीं टोटल वन बिलियन टन but these were not formally the upgradation to our already going on indc theek hai to carbon neutrality 
या नेट जीरो इमिशन बाय ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी इज नॉट इंडिया आई एन डी सी पंचमृत गोल्स एट इंडिया इशूड वी सेट दैट वील ट्राई टू डू इट बट इट इज नॉट अवर आई एन डी सी आई एन डी सी इज वर रिवाइज लेटर ऑन अभी के लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड आई एन डी सी क्या है फाइन ना एक तो आप ये वाली बात समझो ऑलरेडी जब हम लोग बात करते हैं रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी की फोर्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ फोर्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ इंस्टॉल्ड एनर्जी कैपेसिटी बाय रिन्यूएबल इंडिया अचीव ऑलरेडी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ठीक है तो अभी अपडेटेड किया नंबर वन यू रिमेंबर फर्स्ट वी सेट दैट थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट रिडक्शन इन एमिशन इंटेंसिटी थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट था पहले इस थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज टू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज टू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट अर्लियर फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंस्टॉल्ड एनर्जी कैपेसिटी वॉज टू बी फ्रॉम रिन्यूएबल्स दिस फोर्टी परसेंट हैज बीन चेंज टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ठीक है कार्बन सिंक ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव टू थ्री बिलियन टन वॉज एग्रीड अर्लियर इट इज सेम इसके अलावा कार्बन न्यूट्रैलिटी है लाइफ मूवमेंट है वन बिलियन टन ऑफ एडिशनल कार्बन विल बी स्टोर्ड बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी वो सब आर द टारगेट दैट वी हैव टेकन बट दे आर नॉट द ऑफिशियल आई एन डी सीज ऑफ इंडिया तो आई आज डिट डेलीबरेटली बिकॉज मेनी एक्सपीरियंट्स हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग के दैट इंडिया का कार्बन न्यूट्रैलिटी इंडिया का आई है वो नहीं है आर वी क्लियर और नॉट ठीक है तो ऑफिशियली वी हैव दीज थ्री आई एन डी सीज एज ऑफ नाउ ओके सो वट आर द की टेक अवे वट आर द की टेक अवे यस हा वो उसी के फिफ्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंस्टॉल्ड एनर्जी कैपेसिटी इज फ्रॉम रिन्यूएबल्स उसी में है 500 हंड्रेड गीगावॉट ठीक है 500 हंड्रेड गीगा वॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फाइव हंड्रेड गीगा वॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एटलीस्ट और 50 परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया का एनर्जी कैपेसिटी इज फ्रॉम शुड बी फ्रॉम रिन्यूएबल ठीक है कार्बन न्यूट्रैलिटी 2070 तक नहीं है इसका पार्ट ओके एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी प्लेज What is this energy efficiency pledge? Share of renewable energy will be three x tripled. Renewable energy का share जो है उसको triple कर देंगे. Eleven thousand gigawatt of renewable energy will be deployed by twenty thirty, which is tripling from the current level. ठीक है. दूसरा क्या है? Energy efficiency will be made twice two x. ठीक है, सो वी हैड एसीज विच कंज्यूम डॉट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ वी आर कमिंग विद द एसीज विच कंज्यूम लेस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो वट वी हैव डन वी हैव मेड द सेम अप्लायसेज मोर एनर्जी एफिशियंट तो इन द टर्म्स ऑफ अप्लायसेज एनर्जी एफिशियंसीज टू बी डबल्ड एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कैपेसिटीज टू बी ट्रिपल्ड फाइन ट्रिपल्ड बाय द ट्वेंटी थर्टी एनर्जी एफिशियंसी प्लेज 118 countries have signed it. India has not signed it. India has not signed it. Next, climate finance. Okay. 83.9 billion ton of climate finance in the Green Climate Fund, Adaptation Funds, LDC Fund, Special Climate Change Fund is to be given. You remember I told you that hundred billion dollar were to be given by twenty twenty by developed country to developing country. There are multiple reports. Many reports says that hundred billion dollar has come, but a lot of reports says that it has not come. So as soon as possible, eighty three point nine billion dollar that has not come, but should have come, is to be provided through multiple funds. Which funds? Climate, uh, green climate fund, adaptation fund, least development countries fund, special climate change fund. Lead it two point zero. Lead it two point zero. What is lead it two point zero? Lead it lead it two point zero is a it 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 is an energy transition initiative signed between sign. Ah, uh, देखो क्या है? 
टूडे इंडस्ट्रीज दे यूज लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी इंडस्ट्रीज आर यूजिंग लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी सो इंडस्ट्रीज आर टू बी गिवन द टेक्नोलॉजी सो दैट द इंडस्ट्रीज कैन डी कार्बनाइज दमसेल्स मेक इंडस्ट्रीज मोर एनर्जी एफिशियंट एंश्योर दैट इंडस्ट्रीज यूज लेस कार्बन इंटेंसिव सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी सो लीड इट टू पॉइंट ओ लीड इट टू पॉइंट ओ इट फोकस इज ऑन इंक्लूसिव एंड जस्ट इंडस्ट्री ट्रांजिशन सो इंडस्ट्रीज कैन ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम हाई कार्बन इंटेंसिव एनर्जी सोर्सेज टू लो कार्बन इंटेंसिव एनर्जी सोर्सेज एंड इन जनरल इन देयर प्रोसेसिस इफ दे आर एमिटिंग मोर कार्बन हाउ दे कैन शिफ्ट टू दोज प्रोसेसिस बाई विच दे विल एमिट लेस कार्बन सो इंडस्ट्री ट्रांजिशन are you waiting it or not industry transition on two front number one how industries can decarbonize themselves in terms of energy that they are using second how they can decarbonize themselves in in, in the sense of processes that they are using so process or energy ka decarbonization kaise karna hai wo technologies di jayengi lead 2.0 and this initiative is launched by india and sweden it was launched in 2019 now it has been revamped isliye hai lead it 2.0 then global river city alliance global river city alliance so what is global river city alliance it is an alliance of the cities which are which are based on a river bank are you getting it or not these cities play a very important role theek hai so basically global river city alliance it is an agreement where an mocp memorandum of common purpose has been signed fine it has a lot of cities theek okay? hai now global river cities alliance it focuses on river centric development of cities river centric development of cities theek okay? hai isko do ministries Ministry of Jal Shakti and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, they are going to lead it. Okay, it focuses on sustainable river-centric development. Its secretarial role would be played by National Mission for Clean Ganga, Ministry of Jal Shakti, and National Institute for Urban Affairs, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. ठीक है, Global River City Alliance किसने lead किया है? India ने. Lead it initiative किसने lead किया है? इंडिया फाइन ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव नाउ इट हैज बीन अडॉप्टेड बाय अफ्रीकन नेशंस टू इंट्रोड्यूस द टू इंट्रोड्यूस ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रीज एंड बिजनेसेस इन अफ्रीका ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रीज एंड अफ्रीक बिजनेसेस इन इन अफ्रीका ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड वन पर्टिकुलर थिंग इनके अंदर में इससे डालने की जरूरत नहीं है फॉर द सेक ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है बट यू सी पेरिस क्लब के ऊपर क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं ठीक है एंड मेनी सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग के कौन किसके किसका पार्ट है तो पॉइंट इज दैट यू शुड नो द बेसिक्स फाइन ओके क्लाइमेट क्लब वट इज क्लाइमेट क्लब सो क्लाइमेट क्लब अगेन दिस इनिशियटिव aims to provide the technologies for decarbonization to developing countries so 36 countries 36 countries have agreed to constitute this particular climate club and it has both developing developed and underdeveloped countries for example kenya european union switzerland germany chile fine all are the parts of the all all are the under this carbon climate initiative and what this carbon carbon climate initiative is going to do it will promote the cooperation between countries in decarbonizing the industrial sector theek hai isi ka counterpart hai lead it 2.0 which is run by india and sweden is it clear or not to so lead it 2.0 bhi kiski baat kar raha hai decarbonization of industry climate club kiski baat kar raha hai decarbonization of इंडस्ट्री ओके ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव इसकी बात कर रहे हैं इंडस्ट्री बट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रीज देन फेज डाउन ऑफ कोल 
फेज डाउन ऑफ कोल ओके अब ये डिबेट जो है दिस डिबेट इज गोइंग ऑन सिंस लार्जली सीओपी ट्वेंटी सिक्स अभी दो टर्म आते हैं एक होता है फेज डाउन एक है फेज आउट तो बेसिकली फेज आउट मीन्स दैट कोल इज टू बी कंप्लीटली एलिमिनेटेड फेज आउट इज कोल टू बी कंप्लीटली एलिमिनेटेड फेज डाउन मीन्स दैट द कोल को एलिमिनेट करना भी पॉसिबल नहीं है कोल से कंजम्पन विल बी रिड्यूस्ड नाउ इन द ऑफिशियल टेक्स्ट ऑफ सीओपी ट्वेंटी सिक्स कंट्रीज इंसिस्टेड दैट वी शुड गो फॉर फेज आउट ऑफ कोल इंडिया ओपोज इन सीओपी ट्वेंटी सिक्स मैं दो हजार इक्कीस की बात कर रहा हूं COP26 India said that phase out of coal is not possible because a lot of developing countries depend on coal. So phase down was adopted. Now COP28 again developed countries started talking about the phase down of coal. Uh, sorry, phase out of coal. India resisted phase out and finally phase down of coal was agreed in the official document of COP28. So phase down of coal. Fine. means that rigorously coal fired power plants are to be reduced coal energy is to be reduced first time this became a contention in 2021 methane emission cuts now abhi when we talk about methane guys understand this particular thing that india has not been very much favorable of taking any binding agreement with respect to the methane methane reduction why बिकॉज जब हम इंडिया की बात करते हैं तो अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट इंडिया हैपेंस टू बी वन ऑफ आ लार्जेस्ट एमिटर ऑफ मिथेन बिकॉज ऑफ द डोमिनेंस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर केटल इंडस्ट्री आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट एंड राइट नाउ इंडिया कैन नॉट टेक मिथेन कट्स वट है इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज वॉज साइंड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज वॉज साइंड this global methane pledge it was uh, it, uh, it came out of cop26 this global methane pledge made countries to take a binding agreement to reduce the methane emission 30% below 2020 level by 2030 2020 लेवल में जितना भी मिथेन एमिशन था उसके कंपैरिजन में 30 परसेंट कम करना बाय विच ईयर 2030 थर्टी दिस ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज वाज साइंड इन 2021 इंडिया डिड नॉट एग्रीड टू इट ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज इफ अ क्वेश्चन कम्स इंडिया हैज नॉट एग्रीड टू दिस ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज नाउ अगेन मिथेन एमिशन कट्स आर बीइंग इंपोज्ड नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट मिथेन इट हैज बीन सेड दैट इट इज अभी ये वेरी करता है रिपोर्ट टू रिपोर्ट सम रिपोर्ट से दैट इज 60 टाइम मोर potent than co2 some say it is 80 time more potent to more potent than co2 in terms of the carbon uh, global warming but india has decided not to take any mandatory methane emission cuts what has happened 100 countries have made a voluntary commitment in 2021 to reduce their methane emission by 30% by 2030 which level 2020 level is it clear but india has not taken any target of to reduce the methane okay tell me one thing is india the part of uh, energy efficiency pledge is india part of energy efficiency pledge no is india the part of global methane pledge no is india part of lead 2.0 लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड नो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अंडर यू एन एफ ट्रिपल सी हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर वर्ड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर वर्ड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू डेवलपिंग कंट्री दिस वॉज अडेप्टेशन एंड मिटिगेशन फंड are you waiting it or not how to adapt with the climate change loss and damage fund is separate now understand this thing some countries will face damage for sure because of the climate change understand this thing suppose there is a particular country which depends on tourism 
which depends on beach tourism. It is an island nation. As temperature will rise, the sea level will rise. What will happen? This particular country will face a loss of tourism. Okay, and this will be the permanent loss that they will face. Every year they were receiving let's say 50 50 billion dollar from tourism, and now they will not receive that tourist because the coastal areas have submerged. ठीक है तो इनको कंपनसेट करने के लिए कोई फंड होना चाहिए सो देर फॉर वट हैपेंड इन सीओपी ट्वेंटी सेवन दट इज इन इजिप्ट लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड वॉज एग्रीड लॉस एंड डैमेज फंड वॉज एग्रीड दिस इज अपरेट फ्रंट फ्रॉम एडप्टेशन एंड मिटिगेशन फंड दिस इज टू कंपनसेट दो कंट्रीज विच आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू फेस डैमेजेस बिकॉज ऑफ द क्लाइमेट चेंज ओके नाउ in this particular fund money has been delivered is it clear by uh, ye over a period of time thoda sa aur bhi increase ho gaya but the problem is that still loss and damage fund ka koi mechanism nahi abhi tak ke that once the money is finished how the money will be replenished on what principle money will be given to the other countries india ko milega ya nahi milega so fast tranche of payment in loss and damage fund has been made clear the next is global goal on adaptation global goal on adaptation now see under to uh, under paris agreement adaptation plan was to be prepared by every country every city every state but up till now adaptation plan has not been Prepared has not been given much focus. The climate change will happen. You will have to adapt. What type of infrastructure you will prepare? How you will ensure that because of the temperature rise, your agriculture is not impacted? How you will ensure that because of temperature rise, water availability will go down, but the people don't get impacted? So adaptation plan were to be prepared under the Paris Agreement by every country. But up till now, adaptations plan have not been prepared. Focus has not been given. so what is this global goal on adaptation fine global goal on adaptation fine global goal on adaptation is that as soon as possible countries at the block level at the state level at the district level they will prepare an adaptation plan that how they will meet the water crisis how they will meet the food crisis how they will ensure that the people don't get impacted because of the climate change so global goal on adaptation to prepare the adaptation plan will has been agreed then next is global stock take global stock take now what is global stock take global stock take is a type of an assessment that we have done for the first time now you understand this thing you are preparing for your prelims examination you are reading every day you are doing certain rituals every day but after few days you need to assess yourself that whether the steps that you are taking today are aligning with your goal of clearing prelims or not theek hai aap padhai to kar rahe ho lekin aapko assess karna chahiye har 10 din ke baad 15 din ke baad mein ki that are you moving in the right direction or not according to you you might be doing the hard work but your hard work is it equivalent to the hard work that is actually required by the upsc or not you should assess in the same way paris agreement we signed in 2015 and under paris agreement we took a target that will try to ensure that temperature rise should not go beyond 2 degree celsius and if possible should not go beyond 1.5 degree celsius ye goal humne liya are we on a track to meet it or not are we track to meet it or not assessment should be done and this global stock take is such assessment paris agreement provided that first assessment will be done in 2023 and this assessment is called as the global stock take now every 5 year this assessment will happen so first global stock take which is an assessment happened in 2023 next global stock take will happen in 2028 uske baad mein fir 2033 likewise this so what is global stock take a global stock take it is review with respect to goals set under paris agreement are we on the path or not now this global stock take said okay, that no we are not in not on path to meet the targets that we have agreed in the paris and it has been said that if we want to reach those particular targets if we want to reach the 1.56 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1
1.5 degree Celsius target. What we need to do? 43 percent of carbon reduction by 2030, 60 percent by 2035, and net zero is to be reached by 2050. 43 percent reduction in carbon emission by 2030, 60 percent by 2035, and net zero by 2050. ठीक है. And we are not on this path, so it has also suggested certain steps. Okay, certain steps that is triple the renewable energy capacity, accelerate the effort towards phase down, accelerate and substantially reduce non carbon dioxide emission globally. Is it clear or not? Right now, we are not going in that much detail because for prelims examination, utna detail me jane ki zurur nahi hai. For mains examination, you can go in this. Is it clear or not? The next is define climate finance. Define climate finance. Now understand this particular thing. 100 billion dollars were to be given by developed countries to developing country. Okay. Developing countries dispute that you have not given the 100 billion dollar. Developed countries, what they are doing? Developed countries are, see, for example, let's say, USA, take example, let's say USA gave 5 billion dollar to Africa so that the, uh, let's say they gave 5 billion dollar to Central African countries so that they can build schools. Okay. USA will say that this 5 billion dollar is the part of our climate finance. You will ask them how this is a part of climate finance. Fine, you have given this money for school education. USA will give logic that if children will be educated, they will become more responsible. If they will become more responsible, they will not emit the carbon. So, they hope. Now, absurd logic has been given. Yes, absurd logic has been given. Problem is this that climate finance ka koi definition hai, kya climate finance ka part hai. So, actually, what is happening? Today, a lot of grants are being given by the developed countries to developing country. Some are being given for health, some are being given for education, some are being given for infrastructure development, X, Y, Z. What they are doing, they are saying, they are justifying the same money as the climate finance. Okay, so developing countries said that we have not received any money. But they are doing this accounting, uh, they are doing this particular accounting that they are giving the money lekin us paise ka naam change karke kya kar diya unhone climate finance so developing countries say that we want a clear definition of climate finance fine if you see oecd report says that 88 83 billion dollar were given to developing countries in 2020 but oxfam report says that only 22 billion dollar was given why this divergence because clear definition of climate finance is not there then india has proposed to host cop28 Sorry, I has proposed to host a COP23 in 2028. Now a question comes okay, that has ever India hosted COP in past? Has India ever hosted COP in past? Yes. India has hosted COP in past. That is in 2002. Now India is proposing to host a COP20. Uh, uh, COP 33 in 2028 and the next was Altera that was announced. Altera was announced. Now what is this Altera? So Altera is a private, private fund that was announced by UAE. Now Altera this is a private fund that will try to mobilize that will try to mobilize 250 billion dollar globally by 2030 and this money will be invested in uh, this money will be raised as a climate investment climate infrastructure climate projects this money will be invested so 30 billion dollar fund right now this 30 billion dollar fund will be increased to 250 billion dollar by 2030 and the money will be invested in the, in the climate projects green infrastructure projects this is a not a government fund not a sovereign fund it is a private fund okay or uh, announced by whom announced by 
U A. Okay, and under this particular fund, under this particular fund, a unspecified amount will be earmarked for the development of clean energy capacity in India also. Six big gigawatt of clean energy capacity in India will be developed, and the money will be diverted from this Altera fund. So it will focus on energy transition, how you can move from coal energy, how you can move from carbon intensive energy to renewables, industrial decarbonization, how steel industry can be decarbonized, how other industries can be decarbonized, sustainable living and climate technologies. So these verticals are there, sustainable living and climate technology. Are we getting it or not? Now briefly tell me, Mishti scheme was for wetland, true or false? True or false? False. Kis ke liye tha? Mangrove. Amrit Dharovar scheme was for mangroves, true or false? False. Kis ke liye tha? Wetlands ke liye tha. Thik hai? Anji? Zaruri nahi hai? Dekho, ho sakta hai, but zaruri nahi hai. Are you getting it or not? ठीक है मैंग्रूव्स कहां पे होंगे इंटर टाइडल जोन कोस्टल जोन के ऊपर में होगा ठीक है तो ओवरलैप कर सकते लेकिन जरूरी नहीं है कि दैट मैंग्रूव्स आर वेटलैंड ओनली फाइन ओके वन मोर थिंग ग्लोबल मिथेन प्लेज वॉज साइंड बाय इंडिया ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स ग्लोबल बायोडाइवर्सिटी फ्रेमवर्क फंड हैज बीन अप्रूव अंडर सीओपी ट्वेंटी ट्रू और फॉल्स Global Biodiversity Framework Fund has been agreed in COP26. True or false? Anji, true or false? Abhi pada abhi dimaag se vahar. Ye sab cheeze jo pad rahe ho, they are needed here, not in your notebook. ठीक है ऐसे बड़ा मटेरियल बार मार्केट में है लेकिन दिमाग में चाहिए ठीक है नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू फाइव मिनट्स टाइम प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस एंटायर टॉपिक वन टिल दिस दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ठीक है फिर हम लोग एक छोटा सा दो तीन मिनट का एक एक्सरसाइज करेंगे अ काइंड ऑफ एन ओवरऑल रिविजन विल डू ठीक है आई नो कि दैट आपका ब्रेक है बट अभी तो बड़े हैं पांच मिनट ठीक है प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस फास्ट
he has done okay fine you can have break now after break we'll be revising it for 5 minutes and we'll ensure that everything that we have done is retained in your mind and then we'll be moving with the next theme okay next theme will be of reports okay uske baad mein fir species and all that will be moving on yes how to what is moisture jo hawa matlab what is moisture मेरे को क्वेश्चन समझ नहीं आ रहा क्या ह्यूमिडिटी सी हाउ मच अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग हाउ मच एयर सी एयर हैज कैपेसिटी टू होल्ड वाटर पेपर एयर हैज कैपेसिटी टू होल्ड वाटर हाई एयर जितनी गर्म होगी ठीक है उतना क्या करेगी उतना मॉइस्चर उतना ह्यूमिडिटी होल्ड करेगी is it clear or not so the amount of humidity in a packet of air it is called as the relative humidity of that particular air a particular amount of humidity is needed for rainfall theek hai to usi pe depend hai sab wo interchangeably use kar sakte ho theek hai okay after the break we'll be taking it
Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started with the class. So first, what we are going to do, first we'll be taking up a revision for 5-10 minutes so that we can ensure that the things that we have done in previous session are retained in your mind and then we'll be moving forward with the today's class or uh, this uh, particular session. Fine, because uh, the point is that retention is way more important than just covering the things. Take and I'm, I, I have a... Um, I have much faith on you guys. Kya log ghar ja ke kitna revise karne wale ho? Thik hai? Fine. Okay. Now it will be a it it will be a rapid revision. Uh, it will be a rapid revision uh, round. Take it to jaldi jaldi aap logo ko answer karna hai. And uh, ensure that everybody is do answering is participating in this. ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है इधर ताकि मतलब do do participate in it. Why? Because if you will repeat it ना it will reinforce the particular concepts. Okay चलो जल्दी से start करते हैं तो IPCC released its sixth assessment report. It is a body under UNDP and UNEP. True or false? जल्दी जल्दी true or false? False. कौन कौन सी two bodies ने बनाया? WMO and UNEP, WMO and UNEP. It conducts its own research. True or false? False. It does not conduct its own research. Fine. It releases the synthesis report, which was released, and the fifth synthesis report was released recently. True or false? True or false? False. Sixth assessment report was released. Not fifth. Sixth assessment report was released. According to the report, wet bulb temperature will decrease. True or false? True or false? False. Wet bulb temperature is indicator of relative humidity. True or false? True or false? True. It is the indicator of relative humidity. Fine. Relate, uh, heat index consists of uh, heat index consists of humidity and heat. True or false? True or false? True. To measure the uh, heat index in India, recently heat hazard score has been prepared by Ministry of Environment. True or false? Yes, true or false? True or false? False. Not by Ministry of Environment. It is by IMD. It is by IMD. Okay, moving on. UN High Sea Treaty was signed recently under UN clause. True or false? True or false? True or false? True. UN High Sea Treaty. Kis ke andar mein sign kar hai? Under UN clause hua hai? It was taken up by the Intergovernmental Conference on Marine Biodiversity. But it is in which one? It is under the framework of UN Clause. So these are the things that don't have to be confused. Okay, let's go quickly. It is the first treaty on high seas. Until now, there was no treaty on high seas. True or false? True. True or false? True. It talks about creating the marine protected areas in EEZ. True or false? True or false? False marine protected area in high sea, not EEZ. Okay, now moving on. Uh, Global Biodiversity Framework Fund has been established under the ages of GEF. True or false? True or false? True or false? True. ठीक है GEF ही तो Global Biodiversity Framework Fund को देखेगा. Is it clear or not? Fine. Global by uh, recently Kunming Montreal Protocol was in news. It was signed under UNF Triple C. True or false? True or false? False. It was signed under CBD. It was signed under CBD. Nago uh, Cartagena Protocol talks about equal and fair distribution of biodiversity's resources. True or false? True or false? False. It talked about the bio safety. It talked about bio safety. IG targets got expired recently. They were targets that were signed under Cartagena. True or false? False. They were signed under Nagoya. They were, uh, they were signed under Nagoya. Recently, 30 by 30 was in news, which was signed under Kunming Montreal Protocol. True or false? True or false? True. Very good. Okay. GEF, it serves as financial mechanism for Stockholm Convention on POPs, true or false? True or false? 
मीना माता कन्वेंशन मीना माता कन्वेंशन ट्रू यू एन एफ ट्रिपल सी ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू ओके रिसेंटली वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड हाउ एवर इंडिया नेवर होस्टेड वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इंडिया हैज होस्टेड ओके ऑन इन कोमेमोरेशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे मिस्टी स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च विच एम्स टू प्रिजर्व द Which aims to preserve the mangroves. Very good. Fine. India has uh, uh, Sundarban Delta happens to be one of the largest mangroves. True or false? True. Okay. It is also World Heritage Site. True or false? True. Okay. Moving on. Corsia plan was recently news, which has been signed to reduce the carbon emission from shipping. True or false? True or false? False. It will cover domestic flights. True or false? False. it covers the flights covered under new york convention true or false false okay blue ocean event refers to the event when the atlantic will turn ice free true or false true or false false atlantic or arctic arctic atlantification is an event when the atlantic will become like arctic true or false false opposite ho jayega are you waiting it or not blue ocean event is an example of climate tipping point true or false true or false true okay green credit program was recently started by the ministry of environment under life movement true or false true or false true green credit programs horizon is wider than the credit program true or false true or false true green credit program can be undertaken only by the private uh, individuals true or false falls it can be taken by individuals it can be taken by uh, 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 gram panchayats it can be taken by ulvs okay it talks about uh, okay but ye wali activity batana covered hai ya nahi hai mangrove conservation covered or not covered covered okay sustainable infrastructure covered or not covered Sus uh, tree plantation covered or not covered covered okay on the lines of green credit program india and dubai has started altera true or false true or false altera is a separate thing it is a private fund launched at cop 28 wo alag hai india and dubai they started kya start kiya unhone global green credit initiative what they started global green credit initiative lead 2.0 is also initiative between india and dubai true or false true or false false it is between india and sweden it aims for decarbonization of transportation sector true or false false good okay national carbon registry is prepared by unep which aims to track the carbon credits true or false anji is side you are not responding guys anji this side un dp or ep un dp theek hai good okay attach was recently inaugurated under unep true or false true or false false attach was under who and it aims to mitigate the health risks because of climate true or false true or false true fine it is a separate legal entity true or false false okay summit for new global financing pact was recently agreed which aims to provide the financing from developing country to developed country true or false false developed to developing are you getting it or not under this fund multilateral banks will lend money to developing countries true or false true or false true short lived halogens was recently news they have life of less than one week true or false true or false false they they reduce the life of methane in the environment true or false true or false false they increase the life of methane their net impact on climate is debatable true or false true or false their net impact is debatable this is one of our report which had said that it leads to cooling effect but still the debate Continues, ठीक है वो अब स्ट्रक्चरिंग पे डिपेंड करता है क्वेश्चन की बट कीप इट इन योर माइंड क्लियर और नॉट इट रिड्यूसेज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ वॉटर वेपर ट्रू और फॉल्स 
ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स ओशन आर द बिगेस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर ऑफ शॉर्ट लिव्ड हेलोजन ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू ओके India Climate Energy Dashboard was recently released by MOEFCC. False. किसने रिलीज किया है नीति आयोग किसने रिलीज किया है नीति आयोग ओके इको साइड वर रिसेंटली न्यूज दीज आर द क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट एनवायरमेंट ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू ओके एनर्जी एफिशियंसी प्लेज एम्स टू ट्रिपल द एनर्जी एफिशियंसी ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स नॉट ट्रिपल इट डबल द एनर्जी एफिशियंसी वो रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी है एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी आर डिफरेंट थिंग्स इंडिया हैज एग्रीड टू ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स ओके ग्रीन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव हैज रिसेंटली बीन एग्रीड बाय द यूरोपियन कंट्रीज टू एक्सपैंड ग्रीन एनर्जीज अक्रॉस यूरोप ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इट हैज बीन एग्रीड बाय एफ्रीकन कंट्रीज नॉट यूरोपियन कंट्रीज ओके क्लाइमेट क्लब वॉज रिसेंटली न्यूज विच इज विच इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म by developed countries where they will exchange the carbon technologies true or false true or false false only developed countries nahi hai developed and developing both hai okay then next loss and damage fund was recently agreed in was agreed in cop 27 it has been operationalized in 28 fine चलो ठीक है ग्लोबल स्टॉक टेक वाज मैंडेटेड अंडर पेरिस एग्रीमेंट एंड रिसेंटली द सेकंड ग्लोबल स्टॉक टेक वाज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इट वाज द फर्स्ट वन अकॉर्डिंग टू ग्लोबल स्टॉक टेक वर्ल्ड इज ऑन द पाथ टू रीच द 1.5 डिग्री गोल ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स ओके एल्टेरा इज अ सॉवरन फंड रिसेंटली अनाउंस बाय द यू एज अ पार्ट ऑफ सीओबी ट्वेंटी एट ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इट इज नॉट सॉवरन इट इज अ प्राइवेट फंड इट इज नॉट अ सॉवरन फंड इट इज अ प्राइवेट फंड ओके इट मैंडेट्स अ ट्रांसफे ऑफ पेमेंट टू इंडिया ऑल्सो ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स सॉरी ट्रू 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 इज इट क्लियर और नॉट ठीक है मूविंग ऑन फाइन सो एज ऑफ नाउ द वन हु हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन इट वी कैन एंश्योर के दैट एटलीस्ट नाइंटी परसेंट रिटेंशन इज देयर ठीक है अगर जो क्वेश्चन गलत भी जवाब दिए होंगे तो बिकॉज यू हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस एक्टिविटी एटलीस्ट अब भूलोगे नहीं एटलीस्ट यूल नॉट फॉर गेट नाउ आई विल एडवाइज वन थिंग एटलीस्ट रिवाइज ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन द इवनिंग टूडे ऑल्सो और एक बार कल रिवाइज कर लेना सो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज स्पेस रिपिटेशन इट विल कन्वर्ट इन द लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी ठीक है मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट थीम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इज ऑन रिपोर्ट Now, on reports also uh, many number of times you have seen that so many questions have been asked in prelims exam in obviously in different years. Okay, so here we have some important reports on environment and related themes that were there in the news. Now, report के अंदर में आपको बहुत ज़्यादा detail में नहीं जाना because questions on reports have been simple. What they ask in reports, they will be giving you the name of a report. Little bit आपको report का नाम report निकालता कौन है उस report का theme क्या है? Report who releases it and what is the theme? Now report often happens to be a very tricky area. जहाँ पे क्या होता है कि दर बहुत सारे report mix हो जाएंगे. Are you waiting it or not? A particular report, ठीक है? So many reports we are reading. Reading तो हम लोग अभी क्या करने वाले हैं? We'll read a report. We'll read its context. Five five का pair हम लोग बनाएंगे. पांच report पढ़ेंगे. उसके बाद में एक minute revise. पांच minute पढ़ेंगे. फिर एक minute revise. So that report पढ़ने का कोई मतलब नहीं है. दिमाग में रहने का मतलब है. ठीक है तो विल मेक विल मेकिंग अ पेयर ऑफ फाइव फाइव रिपोर्ट सो फर्स्ट इज वाइज रिपोर्ट वाइज रिपोर्ट ना वाइज स्टैंड फॉर वॉटर आई सोसाइटी एंड इको सिस्टम वाइज रिपोर्ट नो दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट रिसेंटली हैज हाईलाइटेड द क्राइसिस दैट इज बींग फेस्ड बाय द हिंदू कुश रीजन पर्टिकुलरली बिकॉज ऑफ द क्लाइमेट चेंज दैट इज हैपनिंग नो क्लाइमेट चेंज इज हैपनिंग टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट प्रोवाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इफ Will be there between the range of 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. It will lead to the melting of glacier. By 2100, 30 to 50 percent of glaciers will melt compared to 2015, 11. Or is it? What will happen? Hindu Kush Himalayan River Basin. The water in the Hindu Kush Himalayan region it will reach to its peak. So the rivers 
विच आर गेटिंग फेड बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लेशियर्स इन द हिंदू कुछ हिमालय इनके रिवर बेसिन में पीक पे पानी पहुंच जाएगा आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट विच विल लीड टू फ्लडिंग एंड इन द लॉन्ग रन द वॉटर लेवल विल कम डाउन बिकॉज ग्लेशियर्स आर देयर सोर्स ऑफ वॉटर एंड इफ दीज ग्लेशियर्स विल मिल्ट Once the glaciers will lose their volume, 30-50% volume कब हो गया? तो long term में तो पानी क्या होगा? कम होगा। लेकिन immediate term में या medium term में the volume of water in the river basins or in the rivers which are originating from Hindu Kush Himalayas, the volume of water will go up because of the glacial melt. ठीक है? अब इतना context समझ लिया और report का नाम याद आ गया तो all these things will come in your mind. Wise report. Who releases this report? This report is released by इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड माउंटेन डेवलपमेंट ठीक है एक और चीज है रिपोर्ट की बात कर रहे हो आ क्वेश्चन प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन इज ऑब्जेक्टिव पेपर जरूरी नहीं है आपको इसी ऑर्डर के अंदर में सम नेम्स विल बी लॉन्ग तो थोड़ा सा इंटीग्रेटेड माउंटेन सेंटर ऐसा दिमाग में रहेगा तो वेन द ऑप्शन विल बी देर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यूर आईज यूल बेबल टू एलिमिनेट और यूल बेबल टू सिलेक्ट दट ओके ये वाला था आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट so don't fix it that nahi i need to remember this entire name it theek hai itna rehna chahiye ki okay mountain tha development word integrated word was there theek hai your purpose will be served theek hai main utility ke point of view se baat karta hu so international center for integrated mountain development who are the members of it afghanistan bangladesh bhutan china india myanmar nepal pakistan countries largely the mainland countries of indian subcontinent mainland countries of indian subcontinent okay so this is the wise report clear or not so obviously this will be an implication when the volume of water in these rivers will increase it will lead to flood or not it will lead to flooding it will lead to disasters okay the next is fostering effective energy transition report fostering effective energy transition okay Now, who released this report? This re report is released by the World Economic Forum and Accenture. World Economic Forum and Accenture has released this particular report. Now, in this particular report, what they have talked about? They have talked about that how well countries are moving in energy transition. Now, we need to move from carbon-intensive technologies to less carbon-intensive technologies. Are we need to decarbonize industry? We need to decarbonize transportation. so how well countries are moving in the direction of energy transition theek hai so as a part of this fostering effective energy transition energy transition index was released and this energy transition index has ranked the different different countries that how good they are doing in terms of energy transition okay energy transition index was released now in this energy transition index in this energy transition index three parameters are used equity security sustainability and india ka rank kya hai india is ranked 67 and which is a top country sweden which is a top country sweden so energy transition index so a question can be asked where they'll not ask fostering effective energy transition report question might be there they'll ask energy transition index so who releases the energy transition index world economic forum who releases world economic forum in association with excel theek hai theek hai underline highlight karte raho sath sath don't think ke ghar ja ke kar loge green house gas bulletin green house gas bulletin so who releases the green house gas bulletin world meteorological organization wmo wmo has also founded ipcc WMO has also founded IPCC World Meteorological uh, sorry organization released the greenhouse gas bulletin now it measures the quantum it measures the amount of green has green uh, house gases in environment abhi isme koi it is no wonder it's no surprise obviously every year amount of greenhouse gases will be more compared to the preceding year yes or no so 23 ka report kya bolega ki that 2022 ke andar mein The most greenhouse gases were there in the environment. हम हर साल अपना पुराना रिकॉर्ड तोड़ ही रहे हैं. Okay, so the concentration of greenhouse gases, the trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere, rose to record level in 2022. And why they are there? They are because of the fossil fuel. Very obvious. कुछ पढ़ने की भी जरूरत नहीं है इसमें तो. Is it clear or not? Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्लाइमेट सर्विस रिपोर्ट क्लाइमेट सर्विस रिपोर्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट इज ऑल्सो रिलीज बाय द डब्ल्यू एमओ नाउ व्हाट दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द इंक्रीजिंग इंटेंसिटी ऑफ डिजास्टर्स it talks about the increasing intensity of disaster according to this particular report fine there will be 1.5 disasters every day by 2030 har roz 1.5 disaster in one or the other part of the country sorry world there will be at least one disaster zyada hoga usse so by 2030 there will be 1.5 disasters per day and less than 25% of health ministries are prepared to deal with that okay only one fourth of the governments are using data and are preparing the systems to deal with these disasters so disaster will increase the governments are ill prepared or under prepared or not prepared at all climate service report who releases wmo so i think how many we have done four or five four one more will do and then we will revise breakthrough agenda report Breakthrough Agenda Report. Now, Breakthrough Agenda Report it is released by multiple organizations. So you have to struggle. Let a little bit of effort to do it, but it's logical. Now see, Breakthrough Agenda Report. International Energy Agency. Okay. Then International Renewable Energy Agency. So energy has been done. International Renewable Energy has been done. And UN. क्लाइमेट चेंज हाई लेवल चैंपियन यूएन क्लाइमेट चेंज हाई लेवल चैंपियन ओके सो सिंपल याद रखो कि यूएन चैंपियन के नाम से कुछ ओके इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एसोसिएशन इंटरनेशनल रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एसोसिएशन है ब्रेक थ्रू एजेंडा रिपोर्ट नो वट दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट नीडेड अक्रॉस पावर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट स्टील हाइड्रोजन एंड एग्रीकल्चर ओके अडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट अडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट हु रिलीजेस यूएन ईपी यूएन पी ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेट द वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे ये सोर नो सो हु रिलीजेस द यूएन ईपी यूनाइटेड नेशन एनवायरमेंट सॉरी अडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट यूएन ईपी ठीक है व्हाट दिस देखो गैप अडेप्टेशन गैप ठीक है अडेप्ट करने के लिए अडेप्ट करना चाहते हैं कर नहीं पा रहे क्यों नहीं कर पा रहे हैं? पैसे नहीं है ओके सो देर इज अ फाइनेंसिंग डेफिसिट टू फिफ्टीन टू थ्री एटी सेवन बिलियन डॉलर पर ईयर आर नीडेड टू अडेप्ट टू क्लाइमेट चेंज बट मनी इज नॉट देयर पर्टिकुलरली विद द डेवलप अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एंड द डेवलपिंग कंट्री अडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट हाउ मच गैप इज देयर टू अडेप्ट फाइन दीज नंबर आर नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट but in mains examination you can use this particular data to further consolidate to further reinforce your answers are we clear or not theek hai so five reports okay just to take 15 seconds of time report uska agency padho fir uske baad mein panch report aur padhenge 10 report uske baad mein bas ek din revision karenge jaldi se क्लियर मूविंग चले चलो गुड द नेक्स्ट रिपोर्ट ऑन इंक्लूसिव कंजर्वेशन इनिशिएटिव आईसीआई रिपोर्ट ऑन इंक्लूसिव कंजर्वेशन इनिशिएटिव नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट द रोल प्लेड बाय इंडिजीनियस पीपल इन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट बट स्टिल इंडिजीनियस पीपल रोल इज नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज ठीक है 
Now, who releases this report? This report is released by the Global Environment Facility GEF. GEF serves as the financial mechanism of Global Biodiversity Framework Fund. Yada dekha tha? So, the same GEF, Global Environment Facility, it releases a report on inclusive conservation initiative. Along with that, one more agency that is the Conservation International. Abhi Conservation International kya? It is a US based non profit organization. Now, what the report highlights? The report highlights the role of indigenous people in conservation of environment. So, they say that terrestrial protected areas and ecological intact landscapes. Why they are ecological intact? Because indigenous people have valued them. 40% of protected areas, terrestrial protected areas and 37% of ecologically intact landscapes, they are held by the indigenous people, Adivasis. Okay, fine. It has uh, indigenous land management has equal or greater impact on reducing the deforestation, and less than one percent of climate change mitigation and adaptation fund is given to them. They are the one who are conserving environment. Their practices are the one which are leading to which are leading to uh, conservation of environment, but only one percent or less than one percent funding is given for their development. Okay, moving on. The next, constructing a new future report. Constructing a new future report. So, who released this constructing a new future report? UNEP, United Nation Environment Program. Now, what this particular report talks about? This particular report talks about the decarbonization of a building materials sector. See, in construction, we use cement, we use steel, we use bricks. Okay, so steel manufacturing cement manufacturing brick making lot of emissions happen fine you might have seen the brick kilns in kendra mein kitna pollution hota hai cement industry steel industry fine so how the building construction material sector can be decarbonized and the decarbonization is important so this particular sector is responsible for 37% of global emissions okay cement industry mein pyro processing hota hai Fine. What is this pyro processing? Limestone and clay are heated in a kiln of 1400 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, what it leads to? It leads to a lot of carbon emission. So, again, report here. constructing a new future. Constructing a new future. And the agency is UN EP. The next, now this is simple. Global trends on land degradation and drought. Global trend on land degradation and drought. Okay. So, ye ko nikalta United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. Is it clear or not? Okay. Now, report says that between 2015 to 2019, four year period, every year around 100 billion hectares of land was degraded. No, land degradation happens because of both anthropogenic as well as natural reasons. For example, natural reason, excess uh, natural reason may kya sakta hai? Flood a gaya, salination ho gaya. Are you getting it or not? Morines, uh, landslide, often landslide leads to lead land degradation. Okay, human processes are also responsible. Okay, land pollution, overgrazing. Okay, all these things lead to land degradation. Okay, so it has been said that we need to, by 2030, we need to achieve land degradation, land degradation neutral world, land degradation neutrality is to be achieved by 2030. What is land degradation neutrality? Land that is degraded and the land that is reclaimed should be equal. We are reclaiming some land and some land is getting degraded. So some land degradation will happen. You cannot stop it. Natural processes are responsible. But you also need to reclaim the land. So, land degradation and reclamation should be equal. So, land degradation neutrality should be achieved by which year 2030. The next Global Infrastructure Resilience Report. Global Infrastructure Resilience Report. Okay. Who releases it? CDRI, Coalition for a Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. 
coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure now climate change is coming temperature is increasing world is becoming more prone to climate extremes so we need to build such kind of infrastructure which can absorb the climate shocks theek hai abhi dekho kya hai ki tropical cyclones ka intensity is going to increase because of the sea level temperature that is rising yes or no theek hai so there are so many disasters that are that will intensify because of the disaster so we need to prepare infrastructure which can absorb the disasters so resilient infrastructure resilient infrastructure kaun sa infrastructure that can absorb respond and can re recover from extreme events hazardous events are you getting it or not theek okay. hai so resilience ops obsolescence of infrastructure is to be reduced okay are you getting it or not so aaj ka infrastructure jo hai it is not prepared to meet with the climate vulnerabilities fine global pathways report global pathway report who releases uh, ye fifth report i guess is this fifth or fourth the sixth chalo to pehle wali agar panch reports hai inko ek bar revise karu agency theme name of report agency theme and name of report quick ओके हो गया चलिए नेक्स्ट ग्लोबल पाथवे रिपोर्ट हु रिलीजेस आईईए इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी नो व्हाट दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट ऑन द नेट जीरो रोड मैप नो इफ यू रिमेंबर ग्लोबल स्टॉक टेक रिपोर्ट क्या बोला था Okay, that net carbon neutrality is to be achieved by 2050 if we want to reach the goals of the paris agreement agar 1.5 degree celsius pe rakhna hai to theek hai so but this particular report talks about this report talks about suggestions that how we can achieve the carbon neutrality and how that carbon neutrality will help us to stay within the targets of the paris report recognizes that the window is narrow it is very difficult but you can still do it ठीक है तो है ना यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट सो दिन बचे हैं प्रीलिम्स के कि सर टाइम कम है पर हो जाएगा क्या तो हो जाएगा थोड़ा सा मेहनत करोगे तो ओके ट्रिपलिंग रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी कैपेसिटी ओके बाय द एंड ऑफ द डिकेड यूजिंग कार्बन कैप्चर यूटिलाइजेशन स्टोरेज समवट सिमिलर जो हमने जीएसटी में भी देख लिया ऑलरेडी नेक्स्ट इंपेरेटिव ऑफ कटिंग मिथेन फ्रॉम फॉसिल फ्यूल्स imperative of cutting methane from fossil fuels now this particular report provides that methane today has become a big contributor to climate change because now when we talk about the quantum of methane in environment it is less than co2 but the global warming potential of a methane is higher than the co2 okay so therefore methane is becoming a big concern but we are fixated mostly on the co2 so this particular report says that we need to shift our focus to methane and this report is released by iea international energy agency united nation environment program and climate and clean air coalition climate and clean air coalition now the ccac ye kya hai it is an international body working on short lived climate pollutants theek hai methane black carbon hydrofluorocarbon then next what the report says report says that if we reduce the methane 
then global warming can be reduced by 0.1 percent by 2050. If we don't focus on methane, then at least 1.6 degree Celsius warming will happen by 2050. Okay? Methane mitigation can reduce 1 million premature deaths. Next, sustainable finance. Sustainable Finance Report, Bridging the Gap in Asia and Pacific, released by UN SCAP. What UN SCAP is? United Nation Economic and United Nation Economic and Social Commission for Asia Pacific. UN SCAP standard abbreviation of problem nahi. WHO jaise use kar rahe ho, to likhne ki zarurat nahi. Explain nahi karne ki zarurat nahi. WHO stands for World Health Organization. It is a standard abbreviation. So in the same way, UN escape is a standard abbreviation, but if you want to know, it stands for United Nations Economic and Social Council for Asia Pacific. Okay? Now, what it says, it says that there is sufficient capital and liquidity to close the global financing gap in sustainable financing. In world, we have sufficient money to provide to the different, different countries for sustainable infrastructure for sustainable living. But money is not reaching. Asia Pacific is not on track to meet the SDGs by 2030. Sustainable development ke pe nahi hai Asia Pacific. And only 17 countries out of the 51 Asia Pacific countries have assessed and reported the finances that they need to meet their indices. Okay. Majority of countries have not assessed that whether they will be able to reach their indices, what money they need, what resources they need. They have not assessed it and they have not even requested the desired resources. Is it clear or not? The next. Okay. Now these reports are, this report is basically linking the impact of climate change on children. And these reports are released by UNICEF. So children displaced in changing climate and climate changed a child. Now, what are these reports doing? The reports are linking that how climate change is impacting childhood. How climate change is impacting childhood, children's opportunity to grow, their opportunity to learn. So, establish a critical connection between climate mobility and childhood. Millions of children are being driven by homes, weather related event. For example, you are living at an area of flood. You are living in a... So, today, there is a new category of people who are called as the climate refugees. Okay, they are forced to move. Why? Because of the unexpected climatic events. So children are getting impacted because they have to stop their education. Okay. Then we have this climate equality, a planet for the 99%. Now Oxfam, keep this name in your mind because our reports, a lot of reports that particularly pertain to things such as uh, inequality, increasing gap between rich and poor, they are released by Oxfam. So this particular report highlights that how rich people are the ones who have polluted the most, but they are the one jin pe ko impact nahi hai, jara impact is pe poor logo pe. Super rich, that is top 1% were responsible for 16% of global carbon emission. And this emission by these 1% people is equivalent to poorest 66% people. So, climate inequality ke upar report. Kis ke upar hai? Climate inequality. Climate injustice. Okay. Paris Agreement Synthesis Report released by UNF, C. What it does? It analyzes the INDCs and whether the countries by working on these INDCs are on the path to reach the Paris goals or not. UNF triple C synthesis report. Okay, IPCC ki synthesis report hai, wo alag hai. This is a UNF triple C synthesis report. Are we getting it or not? Now what I am doing, I am going to give you one minute. Go through all these reports. Please go through yet first report se leke. Last tak report ko jitni baar pad sakte ho padho. Teen hi cheez padni hai. Report ka naam, agency and the theme of the report.
डन हाँ जी डन एवरीबडी चलो लेट्स डू अ क्विक रिवीजन ओके एवरीबडी प्लीज ट्राई टू पार्टिसिपेट बिकॉज इट इज ओनली फॉर यू ठीक है पॉलिटिकल रैली नहीं है जस्ट मेरे को नारे लगवाने हैं ठीक है इट इज फॉर यू ओनली वाइज रिपोर्ट वॉज रिलीज बाई विच एजेंसी इंटीग्रेटेड सेंटर फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड माउंटेन डेवलपमेंट दिस रिपोर्ट हैज टॉक अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज ऑन विच रीजन हिंदू कुश हिमालय वॉटर इन दीज रिवर्स विल कम डाउन इन द इमीडिएट एंड मीडियम टर्म ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स इट विल इंक्रीज इज इट क्लियर मूविंग ऑन एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स रिलीज बाई हूम रिलीज बाई हूम वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स रिलीज बाई हूम वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम ओके वेरी गुड ग्रीन हाउस गैस बुलेटिन रिपोर्ट किसने रिलीज किया है डब्ल्यू एमओ ठीक है रिपोर्ट ऑन इंक्लूसिव कंजर्वेशन इनिशिएटिव ग्लोबल एनवायरमेंट फैसिलिटी एंड दूसरा क्या है कंजर्वेशन इंटरनेशनल दूसरा क्या कंजर्वेशन इंटरनेशनल दिस रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडिजीनियस पीपल इन प्रिजर्विंग द बायोडाइवर्सिटी ट्रू और फॉल्स हां जी ट्रू और फॉल्स आप लोगों ने रिवाइज कर लिया या नहीं क्या ये बताइए Have you revised it? You need one more minute. Okay, breakthrough agenda report. IEA, International Energy Agency. Or who is International Renewable Energy Agency and UN Climate Change High Level Champions. Okay, dobara se. वाइज uh, रिपोर्ट कौन निकालता है इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड माउंटेन डेवलपमेंट ठीक है वाइज रिपोर्ट टॉक्स अबाउट हिंदू कुश हिमालय ओके एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स डब्ल्यू एफ डब्ल्यू एफ ओके ग्रीन हाउस गैस बुलेटिन ग्रीन हाउस गैस बुलेटिन डब्ल्यू एम ग्रीन हाउस गैस बुलेटिन डब्ल्यू एम ओके एडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट एडेप्टेशन गैप रिपोर्ट यूएन ईपी इट टॉक्स अबाउट द फाइनेंसिंग डेफिसिट ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू ओके कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ न्यू फ्यूचर रिपोर्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ न्यू फ्यूचर रिपोर्ट यूएन ईपी यूनाइटेड नेशन एनवायरमेंट प्रोग्राम It talks about the decarbonization of construction material sector. True or false? True. Okay. Global trends on land degradation and drought report. UN CCD. Land degradation neutrality is to be achieved by which year? Twenty thirty. Okay. Global infrastructure resilience report. CD RI. क्लाइमेट इक्वालिटी रिपोर्ट क्लाइमेट इक्वालिटी रिपोर्ट ऑक्सफॉर्म सस्टेनेबल फाइनेंसिंग गैप रिपोर्ट यूएन एस कैप ओके इंपेरेटिव ऑफ कटिंग मिथेन फ्रॉम फॉसिल फ्यूल रिपोर्ट इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी यूएन ईपी एंड सीसीएसी सीसीएसी ओके आर बी क्लियर ऑन दिस और नॉट ठीक है डू रिवाइज वेन यू गो बैक होम एंड डू रिवाइज इन द लेट इवनिंग ठीक है तो थोड़ा सा दो बार तीन बार रिवाइज करना पड़ेगा एंड देन एटलीस्ट दिस मच थिंग विल बी देयर के दैट एग्जाम में अगर क्वेश्चन आ रहा है एंड इफ यू हैव ऑप्शन देयर तो यू विल बी एबल टू एलिमिनेट द रॉन्ग ऑप्शन एंड यूल बी एबल टू सेलेक्ट द राइट वन इतना काम हो जाएगा ठीक है मूविंग ऑन देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज एनवायरमेंट थीम कॉन्टिन्यूज एनवायरमेंट सब्जेक्ट इनफैक्ट कॉन्टिन्यूज एंड विद इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंट वी हैव दिस थीम ऑफ प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया नाउ फर्स्ट वी हैव मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क तमिलनाडु मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क 
तमिलनाडु नाउ मुकुर्ती नेशनल पार्क तमिलनाडु इट वॉज इन न्यूज ओके नाउ नॉट ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया बट वट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन विच माइड बी रिमोटली रिलेटेड एंड इज रेलिवेंट फॉर एग्जाम वील ऑल्सो सी ठीक है सो सबसे पहले क्या है मुकुर्ती नेशनल पार्क नाउ मुकुर्ती नेशनल पार्क इज इन तमिलनाडु इन इट सेल्फ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट फॉर फिल्म एग्जामिनेशन इट इज लोकेटेड इन वेस्टर्न घाट एंड इज पार्ट ऑफ नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व नो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व हेयर वी नीड टू नो सम इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन इंडिया हाउ मेनी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व वी हैव इन इंडिया हाउ मेनी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व वी हैव वी हैव एटीन बायोस्फियर रिजर्व एंड आउट ऑफ दीज एटीन बायोस्फियर रिजर्व ट्वेल्व आर द पार्ट ऑफ मैन एंड बायोस्फियर प्रोग्राम यूनेस्कोज मैन एंड बायोस्फियर प्रोग्राम ट्वेल्व आर देयर ये कौन से बायोस्फियर रिजर्व है दीज आर बायोस दो बायोस्फियर रिजर्व विच देखो द नेचर ऑफ द रिलेशन बिटवीन मैन एनवायरमेंट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ मैन वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड नेचर विल लिव इन हार्मनी इट विल सॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो वर्ल्ड क्या है मैन एंड बायोस्फियर so man and biosphere program is the one which focuses on building a cordial relation between the man and environment and wildlife so those biosphere reserves which focus on building a cordial relation between these three components they are the part of the man and biosphere program so out of the 18 biosphere reserves that we have 12 are the part of the mab nilgiri biosphere reserve is one in those 12 so nilgiri biosphere reserve is the part of ma b no mukurthi national park dekho ab yahi to puchta hai na ki ye river directly basically for example this river passes from silent valley or not are you waiting it or not which river passing from where which protected area is the part of which other biosphere reserve or something like that so mukurthi national park which state tamil nadu part of uh, located in western ghat part of nilgiri biosphere रिजर्व नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व इज अंडर मैन एंड बायोस्फीयर प्रोग्राम विच इज ड्रिवन बाय यूनेस्को ओके वन मोर थिंग अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग दैट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व अंडर द नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व ओके फ्रॉम दिस एरिया मेनी क्वेश्चंस हैव कम देयर आर एक्चुअली नाइन नाइन मेजर प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज विद इन द नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व नाइन मेजर प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज आर देयर बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व के अंदर Now state wise I will tell you जल्दी से लिख लो बस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेट वाइज कौन कौन से एरिया है प्लीज इसको जल्दी से लिख लो बाय द वे नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इट इट इज शेयर बिटवीन थ्री स्टेट्स नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व शेयर बिटवीन थ्री स्टेट्स कौन कौन सी है कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु एंड केरला तो विद इन दीज थ्री स्टेट्स विद इन द नीलगिरी वी हैव नाइन मेजर प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया वट आर दीज प्लीज राइट तमिलनाडु में है मुद्दुमलाई नेशनल पार्क तमिलनाडु में है मुद्दुमलाई नेशनल पार्क मुद्दुमलाई नेशनल पार्क मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क ऑलरेडी वी आर सींग इट मुद्दुमलाई नेशनल पार्क मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी दीज आर इन तमिलनाडु पार्ट ऑफ नीलगिरी नेक्स्ट कर्नाटका कर्नाटका नागर होल नेशनल पार्क नागर होल नेशनल पार्क आई एडवाइज यू कि वहीं हैंडआउट में ही लिखो अलग से कहीं मत लिखो बिकॉज वो एक दो पेज नहीं संभाल पाओगे वहीं साइड में लिखो नागर होल नेशनल पार्क बांदीपुर नेशनल पार्क नागर होल नेशनल पार्क बांदीपुर नेशनल पार्क ठीक है टू मेजर प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया विद इन द नीलगिरी इन द कर्नाटका देन केरला साइलेंट वैली नेशनल पार्क साइलेंट वैली नेशनल पार्क अरालम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी अरालम
अरालम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वायनाड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वायनाड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी करीम पूजा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी करीम पूजा करीम पूजा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ओके इट इज इन केरला सो नीलगिरी बायोस्पेरी सब इन थ्री स्टेट्स तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक एंड केरला एंड विद इन नीलगिरी बायोस्पेरी सब दीज आर द नाइन मेजर प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज दैट वी हैव एंड मुकुर थीज वन ऑफ दीज इज इट क्लियर तमिलनाडु एंड व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट की टोन की स्टोन स्पीशी दैट इज फाउंड इन द Mukurthi National Park is Nilgiri Park. Nilgiri Park and the forest is mountain grassland and shrublands. Mountain grassland and shrublands. By the way, I'll not advise you to go and give too much of focus on these vegetations that much. Broad क्या करना है? देखो L as a part of Indian geography, you should know the broad type of forest which are found in a particular area. depending on climate depending on topography depending on a lot of other factors are you getting so on that particular basis try to make a logical uh, logical conclusion theek hai to area samajh mein aa jayega na for example western ghats hai ya particularly for example north east hai theek hai ya fir himalayas hai to kis type ki vegetation mil sakti hai okay then next is okay are we clear on this particular thing or not ओके एंड सम ऑफ द कॉम्युनिटीज आल्सो आर देयर व्हिच लिव हियर तो एक बार वो भी लिख लो इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्युनिटीज लिविंग हियर बडागास बडागास हियर यू हैव स्पेस ना राइट हियर ओनली टोडास नाउ दे वर आल्सो इन द न्यूज देयर दैट्स द रीजन आई एम गिविंग यू बडागास टोडास कोटाज के ओ टी ए कोटा के के ओ टी ए के ओ टी ए इरुला 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 फाइन फाइन ओके दीज आर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्युनिटीज is it clear or not living here any question yes can we move the next is simli pal tiger reserve simli pal tiger reserve it was also in news where is simli pal tiger reserve odisha and we are going to see it also it is very famous for the melanistic tiger melanistic tiger what is melanistic tiger melanistic tiger have more darker than usual patches so tiger they have patches to unke upar mein black patches are more pronounced so they are darker tigers melanistic tigers okay now this melanism is a mutation that happens because of the excess production of a melanin so melanin in our skin gives us a particular skin tone so because of more production of melanin we will have a dark skin tone less production of melanin will have a lighter skin tone so melanistic tigers have a more melanin production because of which they have a dark coat so melanistic tigers are found here in simli pal tiger reserve and to protect them armed police personnel were deployed is it clear or not now when we talk about uh simli pal tiger reserve now some important aspects with respect to tiger i want to discuss with you because a tiger is an important species first of all abhi jaldi jaldi se hum log uh, when we talk about the tiger few important aspects with respect to tiger number 1 70% of the tiger population is found in india theek hai 70% of tiger population is found in india there are 13 countries which are referred to as the tiger range countries 13 countries are there which are referred to as tiger range country abhi idea hona chahiye which are these tiger range countries 
if you want you can write their names because might be they can ask because already cheetah is got reintroduced in india theek hai to maybe upsc wale socha ke cheetah to very celebrity hai to cheetah ke aas paas sab kuch puchte hain theek hai to 13 tiger range countries kon kon si hai uh, india bangladesh bhutan india bangladesh bhutan चाइना कंबोडिया मले इंडिया बांग्लादेश भूटान कंबोडिया चाइना इंडोनेशिया इंडोनेशिया The next Malaysia we have seen Malaysia लिख लीजिए Laos L A Laos Myanmar Nepal Thailand Thailand थाईलैंड थाईलैंड वियतनाम और थोड़ा दूर का एक है मतलब रशिया इज इट क्लियर और नॉट सो दीज आर द टाइगर रेंज कंट्रीज ठीक है नाउ यू गोटा जोन यू गोटा जोन ठीक है तो यू कैन गेस फाइन इज पाकिस्तान काउंटेड इन द टाइगर रेंज कंट्री नो ठीक है दे आर ऑल्सो हंटिंग अवर ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड्स ठीक है उनको पॉपुलेशन कम हो गया ओके सो दीज आर द टाइगर रेंज कंट्रीज वट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ टाइगर ऑन आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट इट इज एंडेंजर्ड इट इज एंडेंजर्ड सो स्टेटस ऑफ टाइगर इज एंडेंजर्ड वी हैव थर्टीन टाइगर रेंज कंट्रीज इंडिया इज वन ऑफ देम सबसे ज्यादा टाइगर का पॉपुलेशन किसमें है इंडिया में है to preserve tiger we run a dedicated project by the name of project tiger project tiger is executed and driven by whom nt ca national tiger conservation authority is it clear or not and project tiger is one of the one of the successful program with respect to the conservation of any species in the world theek hai ye ek one of the bahut successful program hai now understand this thing. when we talk about the project tiger under the project tiger any area having considerable population of tiger can be declared as a critical tiger habitat under project tiger area having a considerable population of tiger is considered as uh, declared as a critical tiger habitat how many uh, tiger reserves we have so ntca declares a area having tiger population as a tiger reserve how many tiger reserves we have right now so as per the latest updation that has happened on the website of ntca we have now got one more 55 tiger reserves theek hai 55 tiger reserve ab sabse latest wale kaun se hain theek hai sabse latest kaun se dholpur karoli dholpur karoli dholpur karoli धौलपुर करौली इट इज इन राजस्थान एंड द नेक्स्ट इज वीरांगना दुर्गावती वीरांगना दुर्गावती वीरांगना दुर्गावती टाइगर रिजर्व इट इज इन मध्य प्रदेश सो फिफ्टी फोर्थ टाइगर रिजर्व वीरांगना दुर्गावती इज इन मध्य प्रदेश फिफ्टी फिफ्थ टाइगर रिजर्व दट इज द धोलपुर करौली इज इन राजस्थान एंड वी हैव द फिफ्टी फाइव टाइगर रिजर्व इज इट क्लियर और नॉट मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइगर इन इंडिया आर इन मध्य प्रदेश सबसे ज्यादा टाइगर्स कहां पे है मोस्ट टाइगर्स आर इन 
मध्य प्रदेश क्लियर और नॉट स्मॉलेस्ट टाइगर रिजर्व स्मॉलेस्ट टाइगर रिजर्व इज बोर बीओ आर बीओ आर महाराष्ट्र बोर बोर टाइगर रिजर्व इज द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड द लार्जेस्ट इज एन एस टी आर आंध्र प्रदेश नागार्जुन नागार्जुन सागर श्री सल्लम टाइगर रिजर्व एन एस टी आर नागार्जुन सागर नागार्जुन सागर श्री सल्लम टाइगर रिजर्व नागार्जुन सागर श्री सल्लम टाइगर रिजर्व एन एस टी आर दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट टाइगर रिजर्व कहां पे है आंध्र प्रदेश में स्मॉलेस्ट कहां पे है महाराष्ट्र विच वन बोर लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइगर कहां पे है मध्य प्रदेश लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइगर इन टाइगर रेंज कंट्री कहां पे है इंडिया इज इट क्लियर और नॉट नाउ फ्यू थिंग्स यू नीड टू कीप इन योर माइंड दैट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कंजर्वेशन ऑफ टाइगर सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग टाइगर समिट सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग टाइगर समिट वॉज हेल्ड इन टू थाउजेंड टेन ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट टाइगर प्रिजर्वेशन का लैंडमार्क है सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग टाइगर समिट सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग टाइगर समिट वॉज हेल्ड इन टू थाउजेंड टेन वॉज हेल्ड इन टू थाउजेंड टेन एंड एम्ड टू एम्ड टू डबल and aim to double aimed to double tiger population aimed to double tiger population is it clear or not theek okay, hai aimed to double the tiger population kab tak karna tha 2022 tak कब तक करना था 2020 टू तक सो बिकॉज ऑलरेडी इन द पास्ट यूपीएससी आज द क्वेश्चन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एम स्ट्राइब्स पूछा था एम स्ट्राइब्स इज यूजुअली इन द न्यूज किससे रिलेटेड है तो वो टाइगर से रिलेटेड था तो सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग ऑलरेडी बीजिंग डेक्लेशन देव आस्ट इन दिलियम्स एग्जामिनेशन किससे रिलेटेड था वेमेन से रिलेटेड था सो सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग समिट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इट वॉज फॉर Conservation of tiger population. Tiger population is to be doubled by which year? 2022. Now also under this, uh, uh, also what happens? TX2 award is given. Please write TX2 award is given. ठीक है. Recently TX2 award. अभी TX2 award क्या है? Given to those protected areas which have increased substantially or have doubled their tiger population. So TX2 मतलब tiger into two. रिसेंटली सत्यमंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व यू रिमेम्बर सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी में देखा तो सत्यमंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व भी है सत्यमंगलम टाइगर रिजर्व इन तमिलनाडु एंड पीलीभीत टाइगर रिजर्व पीलीभीत टाइगर रिजर्व इन यूपी दे गॉट द टी एक्स टू अवॉर्ड तो टी एक्स टू अवॉर्ड इज गिवन फॉर टू दोज प्रोटेड एरिया विच हैव सक्सेसफुली Doubled their tiger population. So two areas recently got two tiger reserves recently got. कौन कौन सा सत्य मंगलम? सत्य मंगलम tiger reserve in Tamil Nadu and Pili Bhit. Pili Bhit in UP. Are you getting it or not? ठीक है नाउ ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम इज ए इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्पेसिफिकली वर्किंग फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ टाइगर ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन दिल्ली ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम इज द एजेंसी स्पेसिफिकली वर्किंग फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ टाइगर हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन डेली ओके okay, अभी ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम इन एसोसिएशन विद डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू एफ वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड एन ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम 
वर्ल्ड वाइड फंड वर्ल्ड वाइड वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड ठीक है वो डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू एफ रेस्लिंग वाला डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू एफ याद आता वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड एन टी सी ए इंप्लीमेंट कैट्स असेसमेंट इन इंडिया इंप्लीमेंट इंप्लीमेंट कैट्स असेसमेंट इन इंडिया अभी समझो वट इज कैट्स कैट्स स्टैंड फॉर कंजर्वेशन अश्योर्ड टाइगर स्टैंडर्ड्स कैट्स का मतलब क्या है कंजर्वेशन अश्योर्ड टाइगर स्टैंडर्ड वट इज दिस कैट्स दिस इज अक्रेडेशन दिस इज अ रिकॉग्निशन गिवन टू दो प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया विच हैव टेकन एडिक्यूएट स्टेप्स टू प्रोटेक्ट द टाइगर तो सर्टिफिकेशन देते हैं ना कि दैट ओके यू आर एक्रेडिटेड तो कैट्स इज अक्रेडेशन गिवन टू प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया ग्लोबल टाइगर फोरम इज द बॉडी विच गिव दिस एक्रेडेशन टू ऑल द कंट्रीज हु आर द टाइगर रेंज कंट्रीज जी टी एफ इंडिया में जी टी एफ का पार्टनर कौन है वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड इंडिया एंड एन टी सी ए इज इट क्लियर और नॉट तो इफ इन एग्जाम कम्स दैट द कैट्स इज रिलेटेड टू हु टाइगर अब एक बोर बात समझो कैट्स वेन मी टॉक अबाउट द कैट्स विद इन द कैट्स देर आर द फाइव स्पीशीज ऑफ द जीनस पेंथरा कम्स आर यू वेटिंग इट ऑन नॉट उसमें टाइगर भी आता है उसमें लेपर्ड भी आता है उसमें जैगुअर भी आता है तो वो कैट्स मतलब ये सब है लेकिन कैट्स में ये कैट्स असेसमेंट इज स्पेसिफिकली गिवन फॉर टाइगर रिजर्व आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड और नॉट समझ में आ रहा है आई होप इट इज नॉट ओवरवेलमिंग यू ठीक है बट what we can do theek hai prelims already you have seen that uh, where it is now moving on theek hai koi problem nahi hai 10 second mein revise kar lenge sab cheeze it will be cleared are you waiting it or not so cats is in context of tiger tx2 is in context of tigers okay and already already uh, m stripes to unhone puch hi liya M stripes already they have asked M M stripes they have already asked so M stripes kya hai M stripes is a program of program taken by NTCA to modernize the infrastructure with respect to the surveillance of tigers and their conservation तो टाइगर को ट्रैक करने के लिए सीसीटीवी कैमरा लगाना है टाइगर को ट्रैक करने के लिए सेंसर्स चाहिए सो टू मॉडर्नाइज द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द कंजर्वेशन एंड असेसमेंट एंड सर्वेलांस फॉर द टाइगर दिस एम स्ट्राइप हैव बीन स्टार्टेड आर यू वेटिंग इट और नॉट नाउ डोंट वरी जस्ट इन वन मिनट एवरीथिंग विल बी सॉर्टेड आउट तो टाइगर सबसे पहले ये बताओ नाउ यू विल टेल मी वट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ टाइगर वट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ टाइगर एंडेंजर्ड ठीक है ये सिंगल कमिटेड वाला नहीं है Conservation status is endangered. Okay, tigers are found in 13 tiger range country. Clear or not? India is a part of that. Most number of tigers are found in India. In India, we have found tiger where? Madhya Pradesh. How many tiger reserves we now got? 55 as per the latest uh, update on the NTCA's website. Which is the latest tiger reserve? Dholpur, Karoli. In which state? Rajasthan. Are you getting it or not? now tx2 award cats award m stripes are related to the tiger st petersburg summit was held for doubling whose population tiger population by which year they are to be achieved 2022 is it clear or not and melanistic tiger is a tiger having a darker coat because of the higher production of melanin is it clear or not theek hai so some important biggest tiger reserve in india nstr स्मॉलेस्ट टाइगर रिजर्व बोर टाइगर रिजर्व समझ में आ गया एनी डाउट एयर ठीक है सो बिकॉज क्वेश्चन विल कम बिकॉज अगर आता है इसके आसपास में कोई तो द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू गॉट मिक्स मैच करके बन जाएगा आंसर मूविंग ऑन ओके 
So Simli Pal Tiger Reserve, and as Tiger came, we have discussed about it. And here, when we talk about Simli Pal Tiger Reserve, it is the part of UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserve. UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserve. So UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserve में वो सारे आते हैं जो MAP के part हैं. So STR is a part of Man and Biosphere Reserve program. Simli Pal Tiger Reserve is a part of MAP. Is it clear or not? And Simli Pal is also the part of the Mayur Bhag, Mayur Ban Jali Pend Reserve. ठीक है? All एक चीज़ और ध्यान रखना कि Simli Pal Tiger, Simli Pal Biosphere Reserve is there. Simli Pal Biosphere Reserve में Simli Pal Tiger Reserve is there. And Simli Pal Biosphere Reserve is a part of MAP. Making sense or not? Simli Pal Biosphere Reserve. Simli Pal Biosphere Reserve के अंदर में Simli Pal Tiger Reserve. Simli Pal Tiger Reserve में melanistic tiger. Clear? And two important communities that live here, which were in the news, are Enga Thariyas and Mankirdias. Is it clear or not? Fine. Can we move now? The next is Debris Guard Wildlife Sanctuary. Debris Guard Wildlife Sanctuary. Now Debris Guard Wildlife Sanctuary. ठीक है इसको कंफ्यूज नहीं होना दिब्रू साइकोवा से ठीक है दिस इज सेपरेट वन देबरीगढ़ वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इन ओडिशा इज इन ओडिशा नाउ दिस वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वाज मेड कंप्लीटली फ्री ऑफ ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट देयरफॉर इट वाज इन न्यूज एंड ऑलवेज दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग कम्स इन द न्यूज दैट टाइगर वर्सेज ट्राइबल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज देयर ठीक है बिकॉज ऑफ वी सी दैट ट्राइबल पीपल लिव इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड For the sake of the conservation of wildlife, they are asked to leave it. So, Debris Guard Wildlife Sanctuary was in news. Where it is? It is in Odisha. Why it is the news? Because it has been made free of human settlements. Okay. And what are the important uh, uh, animals that are found here? Indian bison, wild boar, sambar, peacock. Okay. And Hira Kud Reservoir. Hira Kud Reservoir. It is also in the Debris Guard. Now Hira Kud Reservoir. It is a Ramsar site. So Ramsar sites are the important wetlands which are recognized under the Ramsar Convention. So Ramsar sites are the important wetlands which are recognized under Ramsar Convention 1971, Iran. Is it clear or not? Also, when we talk about this Hira Kud Reservoir, it is also an international bird area. अब इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया व्हाट इज एन इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया इज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल ठीक है अभी देखो लिंक देखो इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया इज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय द बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल एंड हु रिकॉग्नाइजेस द इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया अलोंग विद द बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल Bombay Natural History Society and in UPSC they ask the question on Bombay Natural History Society. अभी question अभी UPSC की एक अच्छी बात ही है अभी एक दो साल से नहीं बोल सकते हैं because now they are going too much deep but they used to ask and uh, if you leave some of the question they give you a very broad domain. For example question was asked that what is Bombay Natural History Society? What is its domain? What is its nature? तो बॉम्बे नेचुरल हिस्ट्री सोसाइटी एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट कंजर्वेशन के डोमेन में काम करता है इज इट क्लियर और नॉट ठीक है नाउ अगेन आई कम बैक एंड विल गिव यू मोर क्लैरिटी सो हीरा खुद रिजर्वर इट इज इन देब्रीगढ़ इट इज अ रामसर साइट इंपॉर्टेंट वेटलैंड ऑल्सो इट इज इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया अभी इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया क्या होता है लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग सो इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया International bird area is a recognition. International bird area is a recognition that is given to a place which fulfills the three criteria. Which fulfills the three criteria. What are these three criteria? If you want, you can write. Three criteria. Hote. What are these three criteria? Number one contains the population of contains the population of globally threatened bird species. Contains globally threatened bird species. Contains globally threatened bird species. Second criteria 
बायोम रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बर्ड्स बायोम रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बर्ड्स ऐसे बर्ड जो उसी एक पर्टिकुलर बायोम में ही रहते हैं और कहीं बाहर आगे पीछे नहीं मिलेंगे आपको ग्लोबली थ्रेटेंड बर्ड बायोम रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बर्ड विच आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर बायोम एंड थर्ड लार्ज माइग्रेटरी वर्ड पॉपुलेशन लार्ज माइग्रेटरी वर्ड पॉपुलेशन आर यू गेटिंग इट और नॉट समझ में आ रहा है सो एनी एरिया हैविंग दीज फुलफिलिंग दीज थ्री क्राइटेरिया दैट एरिया इज रिकॉग्नाइज एज एन इंटरनेशनल वर्ड एरिया हु गिव्स दिस रिकॉग्निशन हु गिव्स दिस रिकॉग्निशन इंटरनेशनल वर्ड बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल हु गिव्स इट्स बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल अभी आपको जाके ये नहीं देखना कि कितने हैं इंडिया में बिकॉज इट हैज 554 प्लस इन इंडिया वी हैव एज ऑफ द लास्ट डेटा ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑफ एनविस पांच थे तो ऑब्वियसली यू कैन नॉट रिमेंबर इट सो लिव इट ओनली द वन विच वर इन न्यूज यू शुड नो इट इट वॉज द वन ठीक है नो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल गिव्स दिस क्लासिफिकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बी एन एच एस दे वॉन्ट वन कंट्री स्पेसिफिक पार्टनर ऑल्सो तो इंडिया में हु असिस बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल इन इंडिया हु असिस बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल बॉम्बे नेचुरल हिस्ट्री सोसाइटी तो दिस टैग ऑफ इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल गिव्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बी एन एच एस बी एन एच एस ओके एंड दे हैव आइडेंटिफाइड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फोर सच इंटरनेशनल बर्ड एरिया ओके ऑल्सो फॉर द सेक ऑफ योर रिविजन रिमेंबर दिस कीप इट इन योर माइंड दैट यू माइट बी ऑल द टाइम रीडिंग दिस आई यू सी एन स्टेटस ना सो आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट फॉर द बर्ड्स इज प्रिपेयर बाय बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल सो जो आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट बनती है ना उस आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट में जो बर्ड का स्टेटस है वो कौन देता है बर्ड लाइफ इंटरनेशनल इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर फॉर इज इट क्लियर और नॉट सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग इन योर एग्जामिनेशन यू नो ब्रेड विथ इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट विथ इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दट आर दे आर आस्किंग so ensure that you are keeping it in mind likh lo isko aisa nahi hai ki chalo wahan se yaad raha jayega nahi rahega ya theek hai fine can we move now theek hai i'll make you revise in a minute so that you don't you are not overwhelmed by so much of information see debri gad wildlife sanctuary made completely free of human settlement Located in which state? Odisha. Located in which state? Odisha. Indian bison, wild boar, sambars. These are the important animals. It has also Hira Kud Reservoir. It is a Ramsar site and also an international bird area. International bird area is a status. International bird area is a status given by two organizations. In the case of India, who are they? Bird Life International and Dusra. Who is it? Bombay Natural History Society. It is given if any site fulfills the criteria, threefold criteria already. They clear. Is it clear? Bird Life International is the red list agency for IUCN bird wala part. So, is it clear or not? Any doubt, doubt here? Moving. Then we have the Dibru Saikhova National Park. So, ye Debri Gad and Dibru Saikhova are separate, different states. Don't get confused. Dib uh, Dibru Saikhova National Park. Fine. now it is also a biosphere reserve and an important bird area theek okay? hai now why dibru saikhova national park was in news because of bagjan oil and gas leak so you have seen that 3 uh, years back there was this bagjan gas field leak happened due to which a large number of people suffered theek okay? hai so ngt has ordered that 
victims who suffered because of this Bhagjan uh, oil and gas leak, they should be given compensation. So therefore, it was a news, and this Bhagjan oil field is near the Dibrugarh Saikhova National Park. Is it clear or not? Now, when we talk about this Dibrugarh, uh, Dibru Saikhova National Park, okay, it is situated on southern bank of Brahmaputra River. Southern bank of Brahmaputra River. And forest, semi-evergreen, deciduous, pine, swamp forest, fauna, white-winged, wood duck, feral. There are many species that don't go to understand this particular thing. Those particular species you need to focus on which were in news. Okay, hundreds of species are roaming here and there in the forest. Okay, so important ones I will tell you. Now, Maguri, Motpang wetland is also the part of it. Now, this Maguri Motpang was in news. Why? Because Mandarin duck was spotted here after a long, long time. Mandarin duck. Mandarin duck was spotted here. Okay, this mandarin duck happens to be the most beautiful duck in the world. Okay, so just if you want to see it. Okay, so this is this duck fine so this mandarin duck is one of the most beautiful duck and this duck was spotted here in this wetland after a very long period of time very long period of time okay this mandarin duck uh, 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 it was spotted after a century after one century okay so this mandarin duck is important okay uh, the status of this mandarin duck is least concerned least concerned okay fine holangpur gibbon sanctuary holangpur gibbon sanctuary also known as gibbon wildlife sanctuary now why it was in news because a railway track passed from the middle of this particular sanctuary and because of this railway track this sanctuary got divided in two parts fine so holangpur gibbon sanctuary located in which state located in assam okay now two important things are there it has western hollock hollock western hollock hollock and bengal slow loris now when we talk about the western hollock Western hollock is the only ape species in India. Are you getting it or not? Recently, this western hollock was in news also. A western hollock hollock was in news also because see, actually there are the two uh, species of the hollock: western hollock and eastern hollock. But recently, uh, the uh, genetic studies that have been done, it is found that both are one. Are you getting it or not? Okay. So western hollock hollock is the only ape species in India and it is found where? It is found here in Holangpur Gibbon Sanctuary which is located in which state? It is located in Assam. Got divided in two parts because of the railway track. Okay and Bengal slow loris fine. Nocturnal primate only sole nocturnal primate are also is also found. What is who are the nocturnal creatures? Nocturnals are the ones who are active in night. Diurnals are the ones which are active during day. Okay. There are also one more. Aboreals. Aboreals go nothing. Active. Uh, diurnal active during day. Nocturnal active during night. Diurnal. Diurnal by day. Aboreal. Hote. Aboreal are the ones who primarily live on trees. Okay. Aboreals are the ones who are primarily live. They live on trees 
ठीक है सो नॉक्टर्नल प्राइमेट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया स्लो लॉरिस इज ऑल्सो फाउंड हेयर इन दॉलंगपुर गिबॉन सेंचुरी ओके देन नेक्स्ट बुरा छपोरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ओके बुरा छपोरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी फाइन आसाम ओके लोकेटेड ऑन द सदर्न बैंक ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर इस ज्यादा कुछ ऐसा बहुत टिपिकली अनयूजल और पिक्यूलियर uh, इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है स्पीशीज ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड फ्लोरा दैट इज फाउंड हेयर यू कैन जस्ट हैव अ ग्लांस देखो आई विल नॉट इंसिस्ट आई विल नॉट इंसिस्ट टू मच के दैट आप बहुत ज्यादा जाके फ्लोरा फोना बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सो मेनी प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया एवरी एरिया सेवन एट स्पीशीज ठीक है तो जस्ट यूज द लॉजिक देयर ठीक है टाइगर का हैबिटेट समझो और वो भी फ्लैगशिप स्पीशीज का नॉट एवरी वन ऑल्सो ओके मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वन श्रीविल्ली पुथुर मेगा मलाई टाइगर रिजर्व ओके सो इट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू एरियाज दैट इज श्रीविल्ली पुथुर एंड मेगा मलाई दीज वर टू वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन दोनों को कंबाइन करके त्रिवल्ली पुथूर मेगा मलाई टाइगर रिजर्व बना है इट इज ऑल्सो नोटिफाइड रिसेंटली इट वॉज फिफ्टी फर्स्ट टाइगर रिजर्व एंड वॉज इन न्यूज ठीक है इट इज ऑल्सो रिसेंट टाइगर रिजर्व सो नाउ तमिलनाडु हैड हाउ मेनी टाइगर रिजर्व फिफ्टी इसके हाथ में हो गए पांच अन्ना मलाई कलाकड़ मुंदन थोराई मुर्दू मलाई सत्यमंगलम एंड दिस वन Is it clear or not? Yes. You able to understand? समझ में आ रहा है ठीक है Just I know के दैट species, location and information sometimes becomes a little bit overwhelming, but And not do anything. थोड़ा सा एक बार हम इसको खत्म करने के बाद में विल डू अ रिविजन सो दैट यू डेवलप अ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट हा क्लियर हो रहा है ओके देन वाइल्ड एज सेंचुरी वॉज इन न्यूज वाइल्ड एज सेंचुरी वॉज इन न्यूज सो बेसिकली दिस वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ द कंसर्न ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर कॉम्युनिटी ऑफ द सॉल्ट पैन वर्कर्स so salt pan basically collection of salt is a big time activity in gujarat so wild egg sanctuary it is located in little run of kutch little run of kutch and salt pan workers were restricted to go there to collect the salt okay abhi dekho they have asked the question with respect to the tribes and the communities also so abhi yahan pe kuch tribes and communities hain which are important so first of all salt pan workers which collect the salt they are called as agarias agarias okay they were restricted to enter the little run of kutch because of the wild ass sanctuary that was there now some other communities are also there which live here koli sandhi miana communities fine is it clear and they are doing this profession of collecting the salt since last 6 700 years okay so for this social uh, uh, because of this particular thing this was raised as a concern okay are we clear or not now only place where indian wild ass is found and two more tribe communities are there rabdi and bhad wad okay theek hai irula community we discussed where it lives irula community we discussed we discussed it in the context of mukurthi national park it lives in nilgiri it lives in nilgiri region okay mukurthi national park wahan pe bhi hai Todas also we discuss there. Fine. So you need to give. Okay. Fine. Wild ass. Okay. I think in editing the content is 
हिडन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टेबल तो थोड़ा सा बार आप लिख लो वाइल्ड एस प्लीज राइट द इंफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज आई थिंक इन एडिटिंग इसमें शायद कुछ इशू हो गया प्लीज प्लीज राइट आई यू सी इन स्टेटस नियर थ्रेट एंड आई यू सी इन स्टेटस नियर थ्रेट एंड शेड्यूल्ड वन शेड्यूल वन वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट शेड्यूल वन वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट ओके अभी वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट शेड्यूल वन गिव द हाइएस्ट प्रोटेक्शन टू द स्पीशीज एट आर केयर अभी जैसे टाइगर है टाइगर किस में है शेड्यूल वन में है एलिफेंट है टाइगर शेड्यूल वन में है इज इट क्लियर तो अभी दो तीन बात समझ लो शेड्यूल वन गिव द हाइएस्ट प्रोटेक्शन टू अ स्पीशी विच इज मैं किलिंग ऑफ अ स्पीशी इन शेड्यूल इन एनी केस किलिंग ऑफ अ स्पीशी दैट इज मैं इन शेड्यूल वन इज नॉट अलाउड there are specific circumstances for example if an particular member of a species particular animal becomes a threat to humans are you getting it or not a man eater tiger theek hai kya bolte hain nar bhakshi ho gaya ho gaya koi share theek hai if an animal is diseased or disabled beyond recovery if an animal is diseased or disabled beyond recovery or is become man eater or concern to human only then an animal can be killed otherwise animal cannot be killed if mentioned in schedule 1 theek hai high is lived degree of protection cannot be declared as vermin any animal mentioned in schedule 1 cannot be declared as a vermin vermin are those animals whose hunting killing is allowed theek hai are we clear or not mahadai mahadai wildlife sanctuary mahadai wildlife सेंचुरी तो दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंचुरी इज इन गोवा दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंचुरी इज इन गोवा एंड रिसेंटली वट हैपेंड बॉम्बे हाईकोर्ट ऑर्डर दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंचुरी शुड बी नोटिफाइड एज टाइगर रिजर्व शुड बी नोटिफाइड एज टाइगर रिजर्व सो इट वॉज नोटिफाइड टू द गोवा गवर्नमेंट सो क्वेश्चन कम्स दैट कैन द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नोटिफाई टाइगर रिजर्व येस स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कैन नोटिफाई टाइगर रिजर्व बट फॉर दैट दे हैव टू टेक अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द एंटी सी ए तो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आफ्टर टेकिंग द अप्रूवल फ्रॉम एंटी सी ए नेशनल टाइगर कंजर्वेशन अथॉरिटी फाइन अंडर द वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू आर एम्पावर्ड टू क्रिएट अ टाइगर रेजर इज इट क्लियर ठीक है चलिए जल्दी से बताइए देवरीगढ़ वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी विथ स्टेट आसाम ओडिशा ठीक है फाइन वजर सकला फॉल्स विरदी फॉल्स दीज आर द टू आइकॉनिक वॉटरफॉल्स इन गोवा दे आर ऑल्सो लोकेटेड हेयर एंड बिग फोर वेनम स्नेक्स ठीक है इंडियन क्रेट रसल वाइपर सॉस केल्ड वाइपर स्पेक्टेकल्ड कोबरा ठीक है बिग फोर मतलब द फोर वन ऑफ द फोर मोस्ट वेनमस स्नेक्स they are also found here okay and mahadai wildlife sanctuary gets its name from the mahadai river are you getting it or not theek hai mahadai river dispute bhi kai bar aata hai so mahadai uh, wildlife sanctuary comes the name comes from the mahadai river and mahadai river passes from this mile mahadai wildlife sanctuary हाँ जी आर बी क्लियर ऑन नॉट देन भोज वेटलैंड भोज वेटलैंड ठीक है तो इट वॉज इन न्यूज भोज वेटलैंड इट इज अ रामसर साइट लोकेटेड वेयर भोपाल लोकेटेड वेयर भोपाल एंड इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल एंड इट इज अ ह्यूमन मैन मेड रिजर्व वॉयर नॉट अ नेचुरल मैन मेड रिजर्व वॉयर ओके Government notified 62 new elephant corridors. What is an elephant corridor? What is an elephant corridor? Elephant corridor is a strip of land which connects the two elephant corridor, uh, two elephant reserves. Now understand this thing that on the lines of Project Tiger, on the lines of Project Tiger, we also run Project Elephant. Project Elephant was started in 1992. 
okay project elephant was started in 1992 and uh, we how many uh, elephant reserves we have any idea we had 32 for a very long period of time but recently a 33rd elephant reserve has been notified that is a terai elephant reserve terai up terai elephant reserve up has been notified as a 33rd elephant reserve elephant reserve are notified under the project elephant 1992 Is it clear or not? Now elephant reserves क्या है? Elephant reserves are the piece of lands connecting the elephant uh, elephant corridors connect elephant reserves and for their movement for their unfettered movement around sixty two new elephant corridors have been announced. ठीक है सबसे ज़्यादा elephant corridor कहाँ पे है? West Bengal. okay next sundarbans already we have discussed it contains the biggest mangrove delta in the world sundarban is the part of sundarban delta or sundarban mangroves are shared between two country which two country india and bangladesh sundarbans are also declared as the world heritage site also declared as the world heritage site and if you remember Sundarban will be protected or Sundarban conservation will be done also in a specific scheme. कौन सी scheme? Mishti scheme. ठीक है? तो Mishti scheme focus area will be the Sundarbans. Also, Sundarban wetland is a Ramsar site also and a international bird area also. is it clear or not can we move next mic program was in news mic program is in news now see uh mic stands for monitoring of illegal killing of elephants monitoring of illegal killing of elephants now one thing unusual about the mic is that through whose resolution mic has come in existence it has come in existence through the resolution of sites okay what what sites stands for what sites stands for convention on international trade of endangered species now under sites species are categorized those species whose international trade will threaten their existence their international trade is not allowed international trade of a species is not allowed whose trade will impact their whose trade will impact their conservation is it clear or not so through the resolution of a sites mic program was established under this uh, information is needed uh, information is provided for protecting the elephant abhi which mic sites are there in india which mic sites are there in india ठीक है अगेन देर इज सम एडिटिंग इशू आई थिंक दैट हैज कम फाइन आप लिख लीजिए नीलगिरी के बाद में है वायनाद एलिफेंट रिजर्व वायनाड एलिफेंट रिजर्व ठीक है सो चिरांग रिपु एलिफेंट रिजर्व असम देवमाली एलिफेंट रिजर्व अरुणाचल प्रदेश दिहिंग पटका एलिफेंट रिजर्व असम गारो हिल एलिफेंट रिजर्व मेघालय ईस्टर्न द्वार मयूरभंज ईस्टर्न द्वार इन वेस्ट बंगाल मयूरभंज इज इन ओडिशा शिवालिक उत्तराखंड मैसूर कर्नाटका नीलगिरी तमिलनाडु एंड वायनाड इन केरला ऑल दीज एलिफेंट रिजर्व आर कवर्ड अंडर माइक तो देखो फॉर एनवायरमेंट स्टेटिक एरिया ऑल्सो आई एम एडवाइजिंग यू वन थिंग के 18 बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व याद नहीं कर सकते कोई बात नहीं लेकिन एटलीस्ट ट्वेल्व विच आर दार्ट ऑफ मैप यू शुड बी नोइंग ऑल फिफ्टी फाइव टाइगर रिजर्व यू कैन नॉट रिमेम्बर ओके नो प्रॉब्लम बट एटलीस्ट दन विच आर इन न्यूज और द लेटेस्ट वन वो तो पता होना चाहिए एलिफेंट रिजर्व में भी यू कैन नॉट रिमेम्बर ऑल थर्टी थ्री 
at least remember the ones which are the mic side mic which are covered under the mic okay now the next one is asola bhati wildlife sanctuary now asola bhati wildlife sanctuary was in news because recently an event that is walk with wildlife was conducted here fine in which large number of people came participated events commercial activities happened which goes against the norms of a wildlife sanctuary so for this particular thing it was in news delhi high court has uh, has raised the concern with respect to this valmiki tiger reserve then the last three we have valmiki tiger reserve okay where it is located located in bihar located in bihar and the east uh, the, basically it is the only tiger reserve of bihar located in bihar only tiger reserve of bihar and uh, and lies in which region terai region okay pong dam uh, pong uh, dam wildlife sanctuary where himachal pradesh himachal pradesh it is an example of man made man made reservoir ramsar site also and the last is dandeli forest and dandeli wildlife sanctuary both are where both are in karnataka both are in karnataka theek okay? hai now it is a part of kali tiger reserve kali tiger काली टाइगर रिजर्व इज एडजस्टेंट टू इट काली टाइगर रिजर्व के अंदर में क्या है द सेम नेम दांदेली फॉरेस्ट दांदेली वाइल्ड लाइफ थैंक यू आर वी क्लियर ऑन ठीक है तो हेयर अभी वन मोर थिंग व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट स्पीशीज देयर आल्सो सम मोर एरियाज वेलकम fine because uh, certain species and related to those species some areas will be there okay so now what we need to do we are going to take 2 3 minutes of time and we'll read all these particular uh, protected areas from first till the last okay so i'm giving you 2 3 minutes of time please do revise it it is not a break you need not to chit chat you need not to check your mobile phone theek hai half an hour class is also is still there so use it wisely take 2 3 minutes of time then we'll revise and then we'll move to the next theme <laughs>
yes done can we move ठीक है जल्दी से एक बार दो मिनट रिवाइज करेंगे ठीक है एंड विल देन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट थीम ओके जल्दी से क्विकली यू नीड टू आंसर ओके मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क लोकेटेड विच स्टेट तमिलनाडु पार्ट ऑफ विच बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व इज इट अ पार्ट ऑफ मैप और नॉट इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ मैप ठीक है मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क इट इज द ओनली प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया इन तमिलनाडु विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ बायो नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स ठीक है अदर प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज अंडर नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व दोबारा याद कर लेते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नीलगिरी बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व डिवाइडेड इन हाउ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स थ्री स्टेट कौन कौन से स्टेट्स हैं तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक एंड केरला फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन तमिलनाडु क्या क्या है हमारे पास में मुर्दुमलाई नेशनल पार्क एंड द नेक्स्ट इज मुकुर्थी नेशनल पार्क सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी मुर्दुमलाई मुकुर्थी एंड सत्यमंगलम वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी then in karnataka what do we have nagarhol national park after that bandipur national park theek hai dono kis mein hai karnataka mein kerala mein kya hai silent valley national park then wynad wildlife sanctuary aralam wildlife sanctuary and the last one is karim puja karim puja is it clear or not then after that shibli pal tiger reserve located where जल्दी जल्दी लोकेटेड वेयर ओडिशा पॉपुलर फॉर मेलेनिस्टिक टाइगर मेलेनिस्टिक टाइगर्स हैव एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलेनिन ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स दे हैव नॉट द एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलेनिन दे हैव एक्सेस मेलेनिन व्हेन वी हैव टॉक्स अबाउट द टाइगर ठीक है अभी व्हाट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ टाइगर व्हाट इज द टाइगर ऑफ स्टेटस ऑन आईयूसीएन रेड लिस्ट एंडेंजर्ड फाइन इज इंडिया पार्ट ऑफ अ टाइगर रेंज कंट्री और नॉट Yes, how many tiger range countries we have? Thirteen. Saint Petersburg Declaration Summit related to what? Tiger population. T X two aims to double the tiger population by which year? Twenty twenty two. Recently, Satya Mangalam and Pili Bhit were awarded T X two. True or false? True or false? True. Okay. Moving on. Devrigar Wildlife Sanctuary, which state? Which state? Odisha. Fine. Hira Kud Reservoir, where? odisha is it a important bird uh, is it is it an uh, important bird area important international bird area yes who gives this categorization in india bird life international along with bombay natural history society along with whom bombay natural history society bird life international is a red list authority for iucn birds true or false true or false true theek hai Dibru uh, Dibru Sai Baba National Park was in news recently. Which state? Assam. Which state? Assam. It is located on the north bank of Brahmaputra. True or false? True or false? False. Which bank? Southern bank. Okay. Recently, Mandarin duck was found here. True or false? True or false? Okay. It, within this, there is a wetland. That is the Maguri wetland. There, Mandarin duck was found. This duck is found frequently here. True or false? False. Found after hundred years. Status is least concerned. Fine. Holangpur Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary where? Located where? Assam. Fine. Then, uh, okay. Western Holoc Holoc is only eight species in India. True or false? True or false? True. Slender Loris. Dir. Uh, it is a diurnal. Uh, it is a diurnal primate. True or false? False. It is nocturnal. Wildlife sanctuary. Which state? Which state? 
गुजरात विच सेट गुजरात ठीक है विच कॉम्युनिटीज आर फाउंड एयर विच कॉम्युनिटीज आर फाउंड एयर सॉल्ट पैन वर्कर्स ओवर इन यूज अगारिया ठीक है ओके माइक इनिशिएटिव एम्स टू प्रोटेक्ट विच स्पीशी एलिफेंट एम्स टू प्रोटेक्ट विच स्पीशी एलिफेंट असोला भाटी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वॉज रिसेंटली न्यूज विच स्टेट विच स्टेट हरियाणा ओके फाइन सो आई होप ब्रॉडली यू हैव द थिंग्स इंटैक्ट इन योर माइंड ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट थीम दैट इज स्पीशीज इन न्यूज नेक्स्ट थीम स्पीशीज इन न्यूज ओके नाउ so first was white sambar that was in news okay species news why news important information and uh, these things are something that you have to see okay so first is white sambar now white sambar it is also called as leucistic sambar leucistic sambar now few important aspects with respect to the environment ecology is there we'll understand it little bit because questions on similar things have been asked dekho teen cheez hoti hai ek hota hai albinism please uh, write here side mein likh lo albinism then there is melaninism melaninism and then there is leucism okay these are three physiological aberrations or mutations that are responsible for different different physical features in animals ओके एलिबिनिज्म एलिबिनिज्म में क्या होगा देर विल बी कंप्लीट एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलानिन देर विल बी कंप्लीट एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलानिन अब मेलानिन इज वन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गिविंग अ डार्क कलर टू द स्किन और टू कोट ऑफ एन एनिमल सो कंप्लीट एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलानिन ये क्या होता है एलिबिनिज्म समझ में आ रहा है ठीक है इट इज अ जेनेटिक कंडीशन क्या है ये इट इज अ जेनेटिक कंडीशन मेलनिज्म इज अपोजिट ऑफ एलबिनिज्म मेलनिज्म इज अपोजिट ऑफ एल एल सॉरी 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 एलबिनिज्म एंड मेलनिज्म आर अपोजिट एलबिनिज्म में नो मेलेनिन और मेलनिज्म के अंदर में एक्सेस मेलेनिन हेयर देर विल बी ना एक्सेस और अबेंडेंस ऑफ मेलेनिन ठीक है यू रिमेंबर we discussed about the melanistic tiger which state odisha which tiger reserve simlipal tiger reserve theek hai and leucism now why what is leucism leucism is because of the partial loss of pigments in the body now when we talk about pigments for example you will observe that you have a different uh, color of your eyes आपका आई का कलर डिफरेंट होगा आपका स्किन का कलर तो अंडरस्टैंड योर हेयर कलर विल बी डिफरेंट समबडी विल बी हैविंग ब्लैक समबडी विल हैव ब्राउन हेयर ठीक है तो देर आर लॉट ऑफ पिगमेंट्स व्हिच गिव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कलर्स टू अवर स्किन टू अवर आई बॉल टू अवर हेयर एटसेट्रा नाउ ल्यूसिज्म क्या होता है ल्यूसिज्म के अंदर में देयर इज अ पार्शियल लॉस ऑफ पिगमेंट देयर इज अ पार्शियल लॉस ऑफ पिगमेंट्स is it clear or not fine which will give which will be responsible for discolored coat or discolored or patchy body of an animal are you getting it or not complete loss nahi a partial loss of certain pigments happen it lead it is because of the partial loss samajh mein aa raha hai ab bilkul crisp you need to understand the difference एल्बिनिज्म एब्सेंस ऑफ मेलानिन 
मेलनिज्म अब एबसेंस ऑफ मेलनिज्म एक्सेस ऑफ मेलनिज्म ल्यूसिज्म पार्शियल लॉस ऑफ पिगमेंट्स सच एज विच गिव कलर टू योर आईज गिव कलर टू योर स्किन एंड सच थिंग तो उससे क्या होगा पैच स्किन डिसकलर्ड पोर्ट ऑफ अ एनिमल ठीक है तो वट हैज हैपन सो रिसेंटली व्हाइट सांबर विच इज अ वेराइटी ऑफ सांबर ओनली बट है ल्यूसिज्म वॉज फाउंड इन कावेरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वेर इट वॉज फाउंड इट वॉज फर्स्ट टाइम ऑब्जर्व इन संगवा रेंज संगवा रेंज इज वेयर कावेरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इट क्लियर नॉट नाउ कावेरी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी विथ स्टेट कर्नाटका दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट सच एनिमल हैज बीन स्पॉटेड अर्लियर इट वॉज स्पॉटेड इन बांदीपुर टाइगर रिजर्व दैट ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन इट इज इन कर्नाटका पार्ट ऑफ द नीलगिरी बायोस्फियर रिजर्व इज इट क्लियर नॉट ठीक है आई हैव रिटर्न हियर ल्यूसिजम so that you can understand leucism is where pigmentation of animal skin is missing causing white or pale skin are we clear or not now when we talk about the kaveri wildlife sanctuary theek hai kaveri wildlife sanctuary primarily located uh, located where located in karnataka is it clear or not theek hai moving to the next one moving to the next one leopard ओके आईयूसीएन स्टेटस ऑफ सांबर क्या है वेबल लैपर्ड नाउ लैपर्ड इज लैपर्ड इज द पार्ट ऑफ द फैमिली ऑफ बिग कैट्स ठीक है फैमिली ऑफ बिग कैट्स नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट सी बिग कैट्स में कौन कौन आता है टाइगर लायन जैगवर लैपर्ड स्नो लैपर्ड यू डोंट फाइंड चीता हेयर इज इट क्लियर ऑन नॉट तो चीता इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ बिग कैट लेपर्ड कम्स इन द बिग कैट और बिग कैट में स्मॉलेस्ट बिग कैट इज लेपर्ड फाइन लैपर्ड इट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ द बिग कैट एंड रिसेंटली बिकॉज ऑफ द स्टरलाइजेशन ऑफ अ लेपर्ड इन महाराष्ट्र इट वॉज इन न्यूज ओके Now, when we talk about leopards, fine. Nocturnal animal means that it hunts in the night. Okay. Wildlife Protection Act. Wildlife Protection Act. It is Schedule One. Means hunting is not allowed. Cannot be uh, declared as vermin. Okay. Cannot be killed until and unless two conditions that we have mentioned. Okay. IUCN status kya hai? Vulnerable. IUCN status kya hai? Vulnerable sites appendix one means international trade is not allowed. International trade is not allowed. Are we getting it or not? ठीक है. Feeds on smaller species such as uh, cheetah, hawk deer, wild boar, etc. Okay. State of Rhino 2023 report. State of Rhino 2023 report. Okay. Now, when we talk about the rhinosaurus, when we talk about the rhinosaurus, so there are five. There are the five subspecies of rhinos that we have. There are five subspecies of rhino that we have. Listen, सबसे पहले है great one horn rhino. Great one horn rhino. Now, when we talk about India, India में कौन सा मिलता है ग्रेटर वन हॉन राइनो एंड ग्रेटर वन हॉन राइनो इज द बिगेस्ट राइनो ग्रेट बिगेस्ट राइनो वट इज देयर स्टेटस वन लरेबल ऑन आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट देन देर इज जावन राइनो फाउंड इन जावा वट इज द स्टेटस क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड सुमात्रन राइनो क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड White rhino near threatened. Now understand this particular thing. Uh, when we talk about white horn rhino, there are uh, uh, basically two subspecies within the white horn rhino. Okay. Now one is the northern white horn rhino and other is the southern white white horn rhino. 
नदन व्हाइट हॉर्न राइनो एंड द सदन व्हाइट हॉर्न राइनो इस पूरे स्पीशी का स्टेटस क्या है नियर थ्रेटेंड बट नदन व्हाइट हॉर्न राइनो नाउ दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज समथिंग लिटिल बिट इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज अ फंक्शनली एक्सटिंक्ट इट इज अ फंक्शनली एक्सटिंक्ट Now understand this thing. There are only two northern white horn rhinos that have left, and both are female. So there is no possibility of their survival. But as they are two, still it is not extinct. Therefore, it is functionally extinct. It means that within next few years, when they will die, this particular species of rhino will be extinct. Which I am talking about the northern white horn rhino. Northern white horn rhino functionally extinct. Now these rhinos they are right now lodged in Kenya. They are right now lodged in Kenya. Okay, clear or not? Southern there is ample population of them. Okay. Okay. Then there is black rhino critically endangered and वन हॉन राइनो ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस इट इज इन इंडिया ठीक है यहां पर देख लिया इज इट क्लियर नॉट नाउ वेन बी टॉक अबाउट द वन हॉन राइनो लार्ज वन हॉन राइनो के लिए दो चीजें हैं सबसे पहले द लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ वन हॉन राइनो इन इंडिया इज वेयर काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क ठीक है सबसे ज्यादा पॉपुलेशन कहां पर है काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क लेकिन द मोस्ट Concentrated population of one horn rhino वो कहां पर है इट इज इन पोबीतोरा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ओके पोबीतोरा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी सो टू थिंग्स इन एप्सल्यूट नंबर इन एप्सल्यूट नंबर दे आर इन काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ वन हॉर्न राइनोज आर इन काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क बट कंसेंट्रेशन हाइएस्ट डेंसिटी ऑफ वन ऑन राइनो वो काजीरंगा में नहीं है वो कहां पे है पोबीतोरा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी पोबीतोरा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इट इज दाइट इट हैज द हाइएस्ट कंसेंट्रेशन और हाइएस्ट डेंसिटी ऑफ राइनोस फाइन सो मेजर प्लेसेस वेयर दे आर फाउंड इन इंडिया काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क पोबीतोरा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी औरंग नेशनल पार्क मानस नेशनल पार्क फाइन इन असम एंड जल्दापारा नेशनल पार्क गोरुमरा नेशनल पार्क इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड दुधवा टाइगर रिजर्व इन उत्तर प्रदेश दिस इज द एक्सपेंस ऑफ देम बट मेजॉरिटी दो ही जगह पे पॉबीतोरा एंड मानस काजीरंगा सॉरी नेशनल पार्क इज इट क्लियर ऑन नॉट ठीक है नाउ रिसेंटली व्हाई राइनो वाज इन न्यूज बिकॉज स्टेट ऑफ राइनो ट्वेंटी रिपोर्ट वॉज रिलीज Who releases the State of Rhino 2020 uh, State of Rhino report? International Rhino Foundation, which largely talks about population of rhino, conservation programs with respect to rhino, threats that they are facing. ठीक है अभी एक चीज है कि that majority of animals इनके threats क्या हैं? Hunting, particularly greater one horn rhino, it faces a threat for his for its horn, which has a lot of usage in uh, Chinese medication. ओके फाइन न्यू दिल्ली डेक्लेरेशन ऑफ राइन एशियन राइनो 2019 साइंड बाय इंडिया भूटान नेपाल इंडोनेशिया मलेशिया ओके देन टस्मानियन टाइगर और टस्मानियन वुल्फ ओके नाउ लिसन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग When we talk about uh, uh, basically Tasmanian bull, Tasmanian devil, ठीक है थोड़ा सा वन कंसेप्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टस्मानियन वुल्फ के बारे में बात कर लेते हैं तो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट टस्मानियन वुल्फ इट लुक्स मिक्स ऑफ अ वुल्फ डॉग टाइगर देखो टाइगर वाली स्ट्राइप्स भी हैं थोड़ी सी ठीक है डॉग जैसा भी लग रहा है वुल्फ जैसा भी लग रहा है तो therefore it is called as tasmanian tiger also called as tasmanian wolf but it competes with a dog theek okay, hai dingo now tasmanian wolf it is being said to be virtually extinct theek okay, hai thoda sa is map pe focus karo 
हेयर वी हैव ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड हेयर वी हैव टस्मानिया ठीक है टस्मान सी एंड हेयर यहां पे इफ यू कैन सी वी हैव द टस्मानिया नाउ वर्ल्ड टस्मानियन वर्ल्ड टस्मानियन डेविल इट कम्स फ्रॉम द टस्मानिया नाउ टस्मान दिस टस्मानियन वर्ल्ड इट हैज नॉट बीन स्पॉटेड फॉर मेनी इयर्स ओके इट बेसिकली इट वॉज कंफाइंड टू टस्मानिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया बट इट वॉज डिसअपियर्ड फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक एंड नाउ इट वॉज कंफाइंड टू टस्मानिया बट इट हैज नॉट बीन सीन इन टस्मानिया ऑल्सो इन द वर्ल्ड सो देर फॉर इट इज बींग प्रोडिक्टेड दैट इट हैज गॉट एक्सटिंक्ट इट हैज गॉट एक्सटिंक्ट नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट टस्मानिया टस्मानिया is known for some very unique species that is tasmanian devil which is the world's largest carnivorous marsupial theek hai already there is a question on marsupials marsupials kya hote hain what are the marsupials see this particular thing when we talk about mammals dekho samjho mammals are largely broadly of three types placental mammals placental mammals placental mammals will give birth to young ones and the young ones when they are in the body of a mammal they will be nourished they will be sustained by a placenta theek okay? hai so placenta nourishes the embryo in the body placental mammals humans kya hai humans are the placental mammals fine then there are monotremes 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 are egg laying mammals theek okay? hai mono monotremes are egg laying mammals so mammals give birth to young ones but within mammal they are actually a kind of an exception they lay eggs so monotreme are egg laying mammals and then there are marsupials there are marsupials now what are marsupials marsupials give birth to a relatively underdeveloped uh, child and they will be having a pouch within that particular pouch fine that particular young one will further develop is it clear or not so marsupials they will be having a body pouch and in that body pouch the development of young one will happen so largely we have three types of three categories of mammals again placental mammals fine which is the biggest category theek okay, hai humans are an example of placental mammals monotremes egg laying mammals and marsupials theek okay, hai tasmanian devil it is an example of marsupial and it happens to be the biggest carnivorous marsupial samajh mein aa raha hai ya nahi aa raha these marsupials their uh, extent is very much limited to this region of australia tasmania only is it clear or not you will not find their extent that much yes clear hai okay then gurnard c robin gurnard c robin so this was a new species of fish that was discovered and where it is discovered discovered in west bengal what is the distinct feature fine pectoral yahan pe back pe ek fin hota hai and uh, pectoral fin and the black color little bit spots are there okay so c gurnards theek hai gucci mushroom ka question pucha tha na तो स्पीशीज एक्सेट्रा भी जो थोड़ी सी न्यूज में था दिस वाज क्वाइट इन द न्यूज तो सी गुरनाट्स इट इज फाउंड इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड रिसर्च इज फाउंड बाय हुम जूलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया अभी जूलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया का हेडक्वार्टर कहां पे है हेडक्वार्टर इज नॉट इन डेली हेडक्वार्टर इज इन कोलकाता हेडक्वार्टर इज इन कोलकाता एंड वर्क अंडर विच मिनिस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज ओके कॉनोकॉर्पस प्लांट्स कॉनोकॉर्पस प्लांट 
सो कोनो कॉर्पस आर बैंड बाय गुजरात अर्लियर देवर बैंड बाय तेलंगाना कोनो कॉर्पस प्लांट ओके दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ एन इनवेजिव प्लांट दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ एन इनवेजिव प्लांट फाइन विच इज नेटिव टू विच वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विच वॉज नेटिव टू फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका नाउ वन बेसिक क्वेश्चन आई विल आस्क वट इज यू विल फाइंड दैट दीज इनवेजिव स्पीशीज स्पीशीज दे ग्रो एट अ वेरी फास्ट वेट वाई these invasive species you will see that they grow at a very fast rate why batao hum hamesha baat karte hain invasive species introduce ho gaya invasive species aa gaya to wo native species ko overpower kar dega they grow very fast they populate very fast very basic question why aur basic karke batao तो फिर तो नेटिव को भी तो करना है वो तो तो फिर वो फाइट बैक क्यों नहीं कर रहा बहुत बेसिक रीजन है बहुत बेसिक रीजन है अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट द नेटिव स्पीशीज ऑफ प्लांट्स फॉर एग्जांपल दे हैव देयर प्रेडिटर्स दे हैव देयर पेस्ट ओके जो उनकी पॉपुलेशन को अंडर चेक रखते हैं वेन अ इनवेजिव स्पीशी इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दे डोंट हैव देयर पेस्ट दे डोंट हैव देयर प्रेडिटर्स are you getting it or not so they don't face that competition which the other species will face theek hai kyunki unke upar mein wo check karne ke liye predators pests etc nahi hai they grow at a very fast rate now some of some of the invasive species that are in use time and time again unka naam le lijiye ek to eucalyptus hai we have this conocarpus there is eucalyptus there is pros uh, pros uh, prosopis julifera prosopis julifera prosopis okay uh, also called as यूकेलिप्टस कॉर्नोकार्पस प्रोसोपिस जूलीफ्लोरा क्लियर लैंटेना कमारा क्लियर यस 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 दीज आर सम ऑफ द वंस विच आर इन न्यूज अगेन एंड अगेन एक और देखो थोड़ा सा मेंस के लिए इसको यूज करना एक्चुअल uh, में इशू क्या है ना इशू ये है कि दैट बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव द नेचुरल कंपिटिटर्स प्रेडेटर्स पेस्ट एक्सेट्रा दे थ्राइव क्वाइट इजीली ये ग्रो बहुत जल्दी करते हैं बिकॉज ये ग्रो बहुत जल्दी करते हैं तो ऑफ एन द इन अर्बन लैंड स्केपिंग इन अर्बन फॉरेस्ट्री क्या होगा इन वाले प्लांट को प्लांट कर देते हैं ठीक है तो गवर्नमेंट के लिए नेटिव प्लांट प्लांट करना और उनका टेक केयर करना इज डिफिकल्ट So what they do? They plant them. They thrive quickly. So in urban green, uh, urban landscaping, okay, in urban forestry, they are used a lot. Okay. So, conocarpus plants, non-indigenous species, fine, fast-growing mangrove. It is a variety of fast-growing mangrove. Okay, and because of it is invasive nature, it has now been banned. Earlier it was banned in Telangana. Earlier it was banned in Telangana. the next is pangolin pangolin recently one more species of pangolin has been discovered right now there are the eight species of pangolin pangolin is also in news samjho kya hai ki jo pangolin hai na pangolin is being linked with the covid it up till now the short shot short shot link of covid has not been found but up till now it has been predicted that covid came from pangolin and bat okay the covid virus came from pangolin and bat theek hai so this is the thing now actually when we talk about pangolins there are the eight species of pangolin there are eight species of pangolin four species of pangolin are found in africa that is black bellied pangolin white bellied pangolin 
जाइंट ग्राउंड पेंगोल इन एंड द केमिक्स ग्राउंड पेंगोल विद इन एशिया वी हैव फोर वेराइटीज ऑफ पेंगोल इन दट इज इंडियन पेंगोल इन फिलिपीन पेंगोल इन टुंडा पेंगोल इन एंड चाइनीज पेंगोल इन चार वेराइटीज ऑफ पेंगोल इन वी फाइंड इन एशिया ओके नाउ वट हैपन देर इज अभी समझो वट हैपन इन चाइना by by investigating the scales of a pangolin it was found that the scales of pangolin are different from the other varieties of pangolin that are observed so researchers they are predicting that apart from these eight species of pangolin there is one more species of pangolin theek hai up till now more conclusive research and more conclusive study has not come it is being named as manis mysteria it is being named as manis मिस्टेरिया ओके मतलब अ मिस्ट्री देर इज अ मिस्ट्री अभी तक क्लियर नहीं है बट दे हैव फाउंड बाई सींग दो स्केल्स ऑफ अ पेंगोल इन दैट वर बींग ट्रेडेड इन द चाइनीज मार्केट दैट दीज स्केल्स ठीक है तो ये देख रहे हो ना इनकी बॉडी के ऊपर में फाइन दीज दे आर कॉल्ड एज स्केल्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ कैरेटन ठीक है एंड बिकॉज दे आर मेड अप ऑफ कैरेटन देर इज अज डिमांड ऑफ दीज स्केल्स the keratins are used as a product in hair products they are used in hair products theek hai to for the keratin that is found here in their scale there is a, a lot of market so in the gray market of china by seeing these scales it was found that these scales are not like other eight species that are there so there might be a ninth species of pangolin okay now when we talk about the pangolin pangolin have a particular defense mechanism they have a particular defense mechanism and this defense mechanism is that when they will see a predator they will turn uh, uh, they will turn round they will turn like a ball theek hai which is called as volvation volvation is their protection mechanism volvation that is they will turn like a ball ठीक है अरे क्लियर नॉट सो एट स्पीशीज ऑफ बेंगाल इन मे बी देर इज अ नाइन्थ स्पीशी ऑफ बेंगाल इन वी नीड नॉट टू वी नीड नॉट टू नो द स्टेटस ऑफ एवरी वन बट इंडियन बेंगाल इन का स्टेटस आपको बताना चाहिए सो वेन बी टॉक अबाउट इंडियन बेंगाल इन इंडियन बेंगाल इन वे आर देर फाउंड देर फाउंड इन बिहार West Bengal, Assam, and some of the Chinese Bengalis are also found in India, and their status is endangered on IUCN red list. Their status is endangered on IUCN red list, and Chinese Bengalis' ka status kya hai? Critically endangered. Is it clear or not? Fine. ठीक है तो कोई आश्चर्य की बात नहीं है. ठीक है. Okay, now pangolins they are nocturnal. Nocturnal means active during the night. They dig burrows. ठीक है, they dig burrows underground and they feed on ants. Is it clear or not? And also because of the digging of burrows, what they do? They make the soils moist. ठीक है, तो अगर ऊपर की top soil और नीचे की soil देखोगे तो moisture का level different होता है. It is called as aeration. aeration is adding moisture to the soil so because of their digging from the underground they add the moisture to soil aeration is it clear fine one last species dekh lete great indian bustard great indian bustard so just uh, i think one week back also the great indian bustard was in news why because supreme court has constituted a expert committee to overlook conservation of great indian bustard abhi great indian bustard when we talk about it it is critically endangered great indian bustard it is critically endangered and very few members of this particular species are now remaining now great indian bustard majority of great indian bustards are found in rajasthan majority of great indian bustard are found in Rajasthan. After Rajasthan, some population is found in Gujarat. Okay. 
Also, what has happened? Cyclone Bipper Joy also impacted uh, the Great Indian Western population. Now, see this particular thing. Great Indian Western, they have problem on multiple fronts. Number one problem with respect to the Great Indian Western is the electrocution problem. Great Indian Western, they have a poor frontal vision. And because of their poor frontal vision, often they get strangled in electricity wires in Rajasthan. Now, there are two problems that are happening. Number one, we are, uh, we are um, using, uh, we, uh, we are developing solar power in Rajasthan. If we are developing solar power in Rajasthan, that electricity is to be transported from point A to point B. And for transmission of electricity, what we need? We need the transmission infrastructure electricity wires. And if we are going for deploying the solar power in Rajasthan, these great Indian busters are getting strangled in them and they are dying. So, one book of problem is the electrocution in the electricity transmission lines. Second problem is many of great Indian Westerns, they fly to Pakistan. And as they fly to Pakistan, because of the weak protection, they are hunted there for their meat. This is another problem. Third problem is habitat loss. Third problem is the habitat loss. And because of that, great Indian Western population has reduced drastically in this particular belt. Fine. There are only four remaining females of grasslands. Fine. In Gujarat. Now, great Indian Western, it is a state bird of state bird of Rajasthan and it is found where? Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. But 90% plus population is found in Rajasthan. Threat kya hai? Collision, electrocution with wires, uh, power transmission line, habitat loss, hunting. Okay, IUCN status is critically endangered. Sites appendix one means their trade is not allowed. CMS appendix one and wildlife protection act schedule one. Is it clear or not? Samaj mein hai? So this is with respect to the Great Indian Western. Okay. Any doubt? If you have, please ask. Okay. Now, please take 5-7 minutes of time and please go through the species wala topic and please ensure that uh, uh, there is no doubt and if in case there is any doubt, please ask it. Hmm? Like... <laughs> Keystone species hoti hai which plays a very important role in an ecosystem. Means अगर आपने वो species हटा दी, ठीक है, वो species अगर आपने हटा दी तो basically क्या है कि पूरा का पूरा ecosystem collapse हो जाएगा, या बहुत ज़्यादा negative impact होगा, ठीक है, keystone species, okay, now understand many number of a time keystone species and flagship species are used interchangeably also that can be used, but Sometimes what happens, uh, flagship species more used for that particular kind of an animal which is an iconic to a particular area. Just for example, the moment you will think about uh, Assam, one horn rhino might come in your mind. Are you getting it or not? So a species which is iconic to a particular habitat, habitat, a particular vegetation, a particular area, we often refer to as a flagship species. But bahut bar ye overlap bhi karte hai. It can be, uh, yes, it, uh, a species can be a flagship as well as keystone. Yes, please, it is not a break. Go through this. I know it is very painful. You have taken the decision. Talk to Karo.
डिफरेंस कुछ नहीं है बस ऊपर से नीचे द लेवल ऑफ थ्रेड द फेस वो है uh, सबसे लास्ट में आता है एक्सटिंक्ट उससे पहले आता है क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड ठीक है लाइक वाइज ऊपर चले जाओ फिर आता है उससे पहले एंडेंजर्ड फंक्शनली एक्सटिंक्ट मतलब जो किसी पर्टिकुलर मतलब फंक्शनली एक्सटिंक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल कि पॉसिबल ही नहीं है उनको दोबारा रिवाइव करना एज ऑफ नाउ यस अभी अभी सिर्फ यहीं पे यस क्लियर ठीक है सो नाउ प्लीज एंश्योर दैट इन इवनिंग यू रिवाइज दिस एंटायर दिस एंटायर थिंग्स वंस ठीक है देन एक बार कोशिश करना कि कल अगर सुबह क्लास में आने से पहले इफ यू कैन गिव सम फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ठीक है एंड देन विल बी मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट थी ओके एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट इफ यू हैव यू मे प्लीज आस्क ओके थैंक यू